of the day as the umpire sticks the ball in the air, the first siren. Let's do it. After four this afternoon, it'll be Hendry v Williams in this one. First battle's a big one, Hendry wins it. Tries to whack it on the boots, spills down towards Scanlon. He looks out towards the wing position. He's got Wilcox, nice handball, finds him. Looks up towards half forward, Ludewig. Gets a good fist in behind as Marston, spills the ground. Hendry straight through Marston, cleans him up early. Nice bit of physicality shown. Hot footy already, we like it. As tries to pull his way through there was Gladman, couldn't. And Hallahan looks to be on the ground there, boys, holding himself. Bongetti and Tapscott having a couple of words, so keep an eye on that. Ball thrown up in the air. Williams v Hendry out on the wing position. Williams wins that one. Only as far as his uh, opponent there in Scanlon who gets well tackled. Hendry now dives on the footy and wraps up What's his like? opponent there in Tom Langford. There is. Absolutely. It was always going to be. Fires. James like Hallahan it. still very, very sore from that one. The ball's thrown back up. Williams, he gets a tap out nice. Only stolen by Potts, who just goes with a quick one up towards an half forward. Floating back there was Bongetti. Couldn't take it to ground. Spills to ground. Parker picks it up. He's well wrapped up. Handball comes there from Marston. Now to Harris, who then runs up towards half back. Looks up towards the wing position. He's gone for distance. Plays the way and didn't look there, Chad Harris. Because Guy Hendry got his first intercept mark of the afternoon. Jordan King's keeping his stats, so we'll certainly be hearing a lot of those marks this afternoon. As Hendry looks up towards half forward, Bongetti, he's pushed in the back, up by a set play on. Tompkins at the fall, handball to Tapscott. He was getting, he's got his one chopped off. Wilcox comes in with Parker, picks it up, but Wilcox just holding Deep Pasquale off the footy. We'll get the free kick now. So Deep Pasquale in half back for the Sharks. Corp trying to move. Doesn't like that option, so decides to do it himself. Steps around Wilcox with ease, but it was a poor kick up towards the half forward, Bo Hendry. Oh. The man in the pines are just getting up and about for because it was a big week for him. Takes a mark, it's an half back. 
He gives a handball off to Potts, who looks out towards a wing position. Jacobs in a one on one with Potter. Good fist comes from Potter, spills down towards Boyle. Handball to Marshall, who tries to run in board, gets well tackled, dropped it up by a set play on. He did the second up work on a handball out to Scanlon, who puts it on the boot up towards an half on Bongo. Takes a strong mark, wheels onto the left, and Edwards! <laughs> Edwards on a lead, just broke away from Brigden. And Bonkenny with that beautiful left peg of his hit him square on the teat. Edwards absolutely knew where that ball was going to go. Ran into the space. Too much space for Edwards. He's like a freight train coming up. He lines up for the Pines first. Uh, and the first goal, well, hopefully goal of the day, Lock. Edwards will kick from about 30 out directly in front. And Aaron Edwards is a beautiful kick of the football. Sets it sail. He's Always. hit the post. So hits the post and draws the first score of the afternoon. Unfortunately, just a minor. Pines will go to no goal, one behind. Three minutes played on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Andy Grant to bring the ball back in. It was a shank and hit the deck before it got to Langford. He gets quickly wrapped up. Umpire said, I'll take it. No prior. But there's the grand final. Pressure showing already. Daniel Grant has played in plenty of them for Sorrento. Already coughing it up. Deep in Pines forward line now. Williams comes over the big fist. Picks it up to Wilcox. Spills out towards Williams. Who just gives a handball short to Mitch Hallahan. Whacks it on the boot but Potts chips in. Umpire said touch play on. Quick kick to the top of the square. McDermott drops a mark. Spills to Graham Potter in a foot race. He gives a handball back to Brigden now. Just goes for distance. And will go out of bounds and out of play. Good call by the umpire there not to get sucked in. Call it deliberate. No, you don't see it often. So right on the 50 metre line here for the Pythons. They're pressing early. A lot of physical presence shown around that footy through the middle as Williams does the battle with Bongetti. Spills to Scanlon. Quick kick up towards the top of the goal square. Edwards has got to beat a couple. Big fist comes, but Luda we get the fall. Hit the side of the boot. Went out and bounced and out on the fall. Had a bit more time than what he thought there. Ludewig should have composed himself. So Sereno. We'll bring the ball back in quickly through Burns. He looks up towards half-back position. He's got Clavin coming in for a fly. Goes straight through the mitts. Hendry takes possession of the footy now. That's Guy. He gets well tackled up by said on the ball. You took too long, son. Could have got rid of it, Lock. So good tackle there comes from Luke Tapscott. So Tapscott at half-back. They're floating back and structuring themselves up here, the Pythons. So he's going to have to go long and strong up towards court. Just sends that big right hoofer. He's got to beat a couple. Andrew floats back with a big fist. Good fist will go out of bounds and out of play. So in between centre and half forward for the Sharks. Pines with all the play early in this first four and a half of this quarter as the ball's brought back into play. Hendry v Williams. Williams with the tap out. Down towards Potts. Potts just shimmies in and out of a couple. Oh, and smart. Of but it was a smart tap from Hendry onto Boswell who's running through the middle of the ground. Looks out wide. He's got Jacobson on a break. Goes there now. Jacobson with possession of the footy. Goes in short towards Edwards. Was a good kick. Bounces off his chest. Potter. Oh, he does the work. Ball. And just fisted it out of bounds. Was happy to see it come off the fists. Don't know what game you're watching. Short pass. Oh, I swear I saw a foot. He would have had to have got up pretty high then, obviously. So just in between half forward and centre of the ground for the Pythons. It'll be Williams and Hendry to do the ruck work. Williams wins that one down towards Burns. He kicks it backwards though. So big fist comes in there from Williams. Chad Harris at the fall. He did well. Just shimmed in and out. Kick up towards half forward. Corp's got to beat a couple strong jukes. Nick Corp takes a strong one. He wants to go on quickly though. He wheels round onto the right. Was a shank of a kick. Dawes has got a bit of dual work. He gives a handball off now to Gladman who's at the top of the 50. He's going to go for home. Big right foot snap bending. Bends too much. So Sereno get their first forward score of the day, will be a minor. So one behind a piece for both of those sides. Chris Dawes absolutely calling for the ball then, he wants to get his hands on an early lock. Short pass out of defence there and it's over the line and out of bounds on the full. So Sereno will load up once again, so that's the nerves are getting to both sides in the early stages. Six minutes into the grand final, one point each of two. And that's a, a, a poor kick, but it's still enables to Brolsky go back on it. And a snap at goal by Gladman towards the top of the goal square. It's off the hands of the pack. It's going to be knocked through and it's taken over the line there for Pines by Nick Walcox through for a behind. So Sorrento are two behinds. Pines are one behind in the grand final as a kick to come in from the car straight end down towards the broadcast side. Going up Guy Hendry and Clavin that's just in the field of play. Yes, the umpire and umpire Sean Penny says that's fine. Guy Hendry with his second mark in the first few minutes of this game. Short pass to Scanlon, who's got it at half back. The league best and fairest winner went in short. The mark has been taken there at centre half back there for Pines. They've switched it out towards the broadcast side. 
going up, but uh, ball going over his head there at Brandon Lewis, and the ball goes over. Right below where we're broadcasting this afternoon. Two behinds, plays one behind. It's a magnificent day, and it's a huge crowd here this afternoon. It is a sea of people absolutely everywhere. It is great to see. A chance for Potts out of the, the boundary throw and gets a hand pass over towards his teammate there in Boswell. Didn't bounce kindly. It's taken by Mitch Hallahan. Goes into short towards Dawes. Couldn't take the mark. Ball still in the pocket. Still a chance for Sorrento. They've got the number over the top. Bateman should kick a goal and he dies at the post. He's hit the post. He was basically at the top of the goal square. Uh, and he has hit the post. So Sorrento three behinds. Pines one behind in the grand final. Eight minutes played on the Bendigo Bank of Rye. Rosebud and Tremana scoreboard. So it'll be Potts to bring the ball back in for the Pythons. Short one finds Marshall in the defensive pocket. A big bow Hendry and Guy Hendry stand up at the halfback, but that was a poor kick from Marshall and Corp, who stood at 45 out, had an easy one. He's got Baholki there all by himself, but took too long. He gives a handball to James Hallahan, who's under some pressure at the top of the 50, but just shrugs off Jacobson. Runs to 45, sets sail, kicks it! Hallahan draws first blood for the Sharks! 1-3-9, play 0-1-1. We've played eight and a half on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard, and you're listening to RPFM, the voice of Peninsula Football. So James Hallahan just with a bit of shimmy work around Jacobson strolled into 45 and went bang. First blood sharks, ball back in the middle. Henry wins that one only as far as Hallahan who gets his kick smothered by Lewis Smith. He takes possession, goes up towards the half forward. Ludewig gets possession of the footy. Try to take on too many on that occasion did Ludewig. And Daniel Grant said, I'll take you. That's holding the ball. So the Silver Fox, possession of the footy, it's an half back for the Sharks. Looks up towards half forward, Corp on a big presentation against Johns. He's been strong early, Corp. Couldn't take that one. Good fist come from Johns. But he's got that presence that he hasn't had most of the final series. Nick Corp. No, absolutely. Good to see him taking clunkers already. No, um, he was always going to hand it off then, Lock. So Williams now against uh, Hendry. Hendry wanted the free kick. Umpire said play on. Well wrapped up there was Gladman. And that's where the ball will stay. So far wing position here, Brian Mace, grandstand side of the ground. Massive crowd here this afternoon and a beautiful day for it. As the ball's brought back up, Parker tries to bustle his way through a couple. And Burns said, you're not getting away from me. So that's where it'll stay again. Umpire will throw the ball up. Hendry v Williams. Williams wins that tap out. Down towards Tapscott. He was held. Umpire said play on. Potts comes through with the footy. Quick kick forward. Touch play on, said the umpire. Dabrowski smashed by McDermott. Good, strong tackle there from Tommy McDermott. Great forward pressure around the footy. At the moment, the Pythons. Very strong physical presence at the ball. As the ball's brought back up. Williams wins that one down towards Mitch Allahan, goes without it, spills down towards Marshall, handball to Parker was good. He goes further back towards Potts, who's trying to go inside out of a couple, good handball back to Lewis Smith. He goes in for a short one to Marshall, drops the footy up by a set play on, just waxes on the boot up towards half forward. Marston was in front of Bongeni on that time, tried to get in out of him, he did. Nice handball finds Harris, he looks across the face of the ground, Guy Hendry slipped, but he did well to butter up and get back up and take a strong mark, that's mark number three already. He's just going to send it long and high up towards Towards our forward, he's got a flight as Barfoot does, bounces off his chest, Langford, he gets a rove, handball out towards Potter wasn't great, so Barfoot dives on it as well, and I reckon that's where it'll stay. About 60 out from the Pythons goal, commentary side of the ground. Strong by Barfoot then. He's a very strong man, little Brandon Barfoot. Very tough unit, as the ball's brought back up, Bongetti v Hendry. Uh, Bongetti and Hendry playing the same side, Bongetti v Williams I should say. Tap out was won there by Bonkini. Marshall was quickly wrapped up. Mitch Allahan taken into the ground strong. Umpire coming in for a few words. All the stars getting their hands on an early lock, which is to be expected. As a very contested game as well as we expected as it spills out towards Langford. Runs up towards an half back. He looks up to a leading Corp against John. Strong mark in front of him. He's been good thus far as Nick Corp. Looks out towards Baholki. That's what lets him down. His skill level kicks it straight into the man on the mark. Jacobs comes in, steals it. Handball backwards to Boyle. He tried to do too much. Somehow just got out of that tackle. Looks out towards his side of the ground. They're out through Lewis. Lewis now with possession of footy on the wing, takes a running bounce at the second. He takes his teammates telling to keep coming, but wastes it. 
Looks up towards half-back somehow. Barfoot got the fist in, but it was illegal. So it'll be play on advantage. Sorrento through Dabrowski. Now it's an half-back. Looks up towards a wing. Gladman in a one-on-one with Boyle. Good fist by Boyle. Gladman did the buttering up. And that was holding the man since Scanlon didn't have clear possession of the footy. So Gladman will get the free kick for it. Right call, I reckon, Ref. Yeah, it was, was the right call. Definitely there, Lock. Scanlon, um, just bring him to ground. No need for that. Let him get up, contest the ball. Get your head over the ball early and they will reward you. Simple That's as it. that. The umpire's long kick by Langford towards centre half forward. Going up there, caught. He's home the mark and he's oh. going to be given it. I reckon, uh, I reckon there was a touch in front there before Corp actually took that, but Nick Corp has touch. had an absolutely sensational start short pass. Yeah. And what a tap, Scott. He's at 50, sets a ball sale. It was a goal. They've got to go back, so Corp's got to go back and kick it. I don't know why he does have to go back, though. I don't think that's fair. I think he's taken a mark. It's not a free kick. You can take the play on whenever you want. Yeah, well, that is true, Lock. It wasn't paid a free kick, um, no, because there was there was a free kick there, I think, because I reckon Corp just pushed um, Jono out of it then. But there was no free kick paid. No, that's exactly therefore right. It so was, it was a, mark. a mark, therefore he can play, play on. on so you want. That he will kick from 50, Nick Corp. He will go back. He's pretty much directly in front. He'll he's kicked kick from the 55. Scoring end. Well, yeah, the marks he'll, on the 50. Get, he'll, get pretty, he'll get pretty close to the 50 anyhow. But he'll go back to give Serena a 14-point lead in the about the halfway mark of the first quarter. Kick from just outside, he goes high, he goes long, he goes off target. They need a mark mm. down there to someone and they can't get it. Dai Hendry sees it over the line for, Andrew th uh, for a uh, point, I should say. 1 4 10. Plays one behind as, as, as Pines look to bring the ball out Come towards on. half back. That's a good effort there for Sorrento. They'll pump themselves back into attack once again. Inside attack, the 50 kick. goes the ball. That went straight over the head of Jack Grant there. I think he thought it was just going to be a simple pass, but a little bit too much pepper on it. Hand pass by Potts. Pines looking to, to spiral one out of defence. Mark taken by Daniel Grant, who's 60 metres out, 65 out, probably close to. He's too far out to score even for Daniel Grant. I think he's a beautiful kick as a rule. Oh, way too far out. Even with even with the wind as well, but he's, uh, he's certainly going to... Oh, he's been called to play on and he's holding the ball, is he? No? What's the umpire given him? 50. Umpire said, 50 metres. Umpire said he didn't call play on. Barfoot saying he called play on. That's why I came in the umpire and umpire Tyson Ben saying absolutely no. So Daniel Grant, an unlikely, un unlikely goal kicker, he will be a goal kicker nevertheless today because he shouldn't miss from basically 25 metres out directly in front. Yep, a beautiful kick of the footy is Silver Fox and well he's been gifted one on this occasion Barfoot probably did the right thing in the end was just a bit unlucky. Umpire said he was standing too close to the mark he runs to 25 sets the ball sail kicks it so the Silver Fox adds their second 2-4-16 plays one behind 15 played on the Benigo Bank scoreboard and you're listening to our double PFM the voice of Peninsula Football. Some big name players getting their hands on the footy, Jordy King. Yeah, that's exactly right, Lock. Uh, Luke Potts has had eight so far, and Paul Scanlon and Lockie Martin have both had four. Hendry seems to be uh, roaming that half back well. Three marks. So it's all well and good just getting the footy through the middle of the ground and taking it off half back. But this is where they're falling down. He's forward of the ball. Kick up towards an half forward. White handball to Marshall. Sits it to a one on one. Brigden v Edwards. Foot race. Edwards wins it. Taps it to himself. Shrugs off Brigden. Handball back to Parker. Left foot suits. No misses. So they are their second behind. 0 2 2. Plays 2 4 16. 14, 15 and three quarter minutes played on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Sereno just taking advantage going forward of the footy at the moment. Pines had all the running in those first five minutes, just couldn't hit the scoreboard the way they wanted to. We know that Sereno's got a very strong defence. They're holding up well at the moment as Langford brings the ball back in short, finds Marston, who's just going to go long and strong up towards half back. Williams will fly with court. Big fist comes from Johns, who's at the fall. Burns in a foot race against Boyle. Burns wins it. He's quickly wrapped up by a couple. And that's where it'll stay. Interesting start thus far, Lock Pines needed to use that, that ball a little bit more skillfully in their forward 50, so um, they're going to want to score now just to settle the nerves, I reckon. So the ball out on the far side of the ground, right in front of uh, Michael Voss's favourite bacon and eggs as the ball's won by Williams, down towards Mitch Ellahan, goes long and strong up towards half forward, but it's off the side of the boot and it'll go out of bounds and out of the full. 
So, Pines with a chance to reload here. Four of them standing on the interchange gates, ready to come back on as Jacobson comes off for Ludewick. Jono Hughes coming off for Nick Boswell. It'll be Potts to bring the ball back in now. Long one up towards half forward, Hendry with a strong mark, but there was a push and it was against Barfoot. It'll be a free kick to Sorrento. Pines quite, uh, aren't quite sure of what's going on at the moment. Yeah. Hendry's going to argue this one because he feels he did nothing wrong, and that is correct. He didn't do anything wrong. But uh, Brennan Barfoot threw uh, two hands straight into the back of Clavin. I saw that. The umpire saw it as well. So free kick Sorrento out on the far side of the ground. Goes with a strong one up towards half forward. I can't keep blazing away here, Sorrento, because Hendry, Johns, and Bonchetti are going to lap these up if they keep doing that. And it's exactly what happened on that occasion as Johns went with a big fist out of bounds and out of play. Just watching uh, Chris Dawes lock as the ball enters into uh, their attacking 50 and he seems to be moving okay. Not really leaving that inside no, 20 though, really, is he? But he? Yeah, that's exactly right. So one by Langford, handball to Allahan who can run towards 50. He sets the ball sail from 55, misses. It was bending back but just couldn't get the job done. So they'll go to 2 5 17, plays 0 2 2 18. Gone on a Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Boswell to bring the ball back in. Goes with a 50 50 up towards an half back. Hendry gets a fist away from him. Deeper Squally at the fall. Two dive on him, and that's where it'll stay. He had a uh, 10 metre burst. Oh, not maybe 10 metre, maybe 4 or 5 metre burst. He's limping. Crystals. So, one by Clavin down towards Potts, who's had plenty of it. Quick kick up towards the middle of the ground, she finds Sean White. He wants to move it quickly, Potts is out on the move. He's got Boswell on a strong move on the far side of the ground. Langford hot on his hammer. He sat on his head there, White, so he couldn't go, Boswell. But he goes now, looks up towards Aaron Edwards on a big strong lead. Wasn't a great oh, kick, but it. Edwards flies from the side, couldn't take it. Spills the ground first on it, was Brigden. Now to Hallahan. Now to Langford. Now back to Mitch Hallahan who goes up towards our forward. Good kick finds Tapscott. That was better from the Sharks. Good strong link up. Look up towards full forward. He's going long and strong. Corp will fly from the back. Spills the ground. First on a Bo Hendry. Looks out to the far side of the ground. It's going to be out in the full. So Sereno will bring the ball back in nice and quick through deeper Squally. <coughs> That was a stronger link up from the Sharks off half back. Bo Hendry kicking it out of bounds on the full. You'd expect uh, the Sorrento Shark supporters to get into him. It was dead quiet. Oh, they're not wanting to open their mouths. Not with the amount of fine supporters <laughs> over this side of the ground. As Deeper Squally sits it to the top of the square. Doors flies. Good fist comes from behind. Expels to ground first. On it was Boyle. Just gives a little tap off the ground up towards Thomas, who whacks it on the boot up towards half back. Good kick finds Perry Lewis Smith. So Lewis Smith now at half back for the Pythons. So Renault have set themselves up well across the wing position. It'll be Grant to come in from the side against Barfoot. Spills to ground, up by set play on. Potts gets possession of the footy. Edwards in a one-on-one -on -one with Brigden. Marsden trying to float back at support. Marsden end up spoiling his opponent, his teammate there in Brigden. But he did well to get back up to Brigden. And they got a man on here, the Sharks. Gladman's one of them. He runs to 50. Short one towards Dawes, who's on a big limp. He was struggling there to get to that ball. That was a beautiful kick there by Gladman. But Dawes, with that calf injury notably, could not run quick enough to get to that footy. No, absolutely struggled to get to that ball lock. That was evident then. If uh, supporters are watching that, really difficult to get to As caught with a fly kick from the run contest, somehow snapped it and kicks the goal. The Sharks kick their third. 3 5 23 plays Pines, two behinds. 20 and a half played on a Bendigo Bank scoreboard, and you're listening to R Double PFM, the voice of Peninsula Football. The side with the finals experience, Sereno, they've got off to the quick start. Their starts have been pretty poor in the second half of the year, but they are 21 points in front in the grand final. 3-5, 23 to 2 behind, Pines need a goal. McDermott just couldn't quite uh, get a handle on that ball. It's taken by Deep Esquale to Hallahan. He is absolutely sandwiched. The ball is picked out by Potts. He goes in short towards centre half forward. The ball is on the ground. A chance now for Harris to Potter. Sorrento are away out towards half back. Dabrowski's got it. He picks it up. He goes over the top. He's looking there for Gladman or, or Deep Esquale. Gladman's the man with the ball. He gets the ball out. Right near the Brian Mace grandstand. The umpire says, I'm going to ball it up. It's umpire Travis Denley. 21 minutes played as a free kick. They're out of that contest. So they're just going 
just a little bit over the top here at the yeah, moment. Yeah, they Pines. are, Michael. Absolutely. Just a little bit too hard at the ball. They just need to settle down a bit. Just settle the nerves. Sereno have got the experience. I'll settle into this game, but the game might be uh, a long way out of their oh, the grasp back. before they realise it. They're off the pack. Quick kick inside attack from 50. One on one contest. Doors in front. Couldn't take the mark. Fisher did well. Ball goes off the ground as Doors goes backwards towards his teammate there and a snap at Dole on the left foot towards the goal square. Oh, Hulky! Lee Baholke has taken the mark at the back. The ball was going to go through for a point, but Baholke stuck the jukes up and he's taken the mark directly. Oh, no, not directly in front, but he's got plenty of open goal face and he will go back and put the fourth goal surely on the board here for Sorrento. He's not even 10 metres out. He has the shot. He puts it through for the goal and Sorrento are out by 27 points in the grand final. 4 5 29 behinds, two behinds, two points. We've played 23 minutes on the Bendigo Bank and Pride Rosebud and Dramana scoreboard. Quick start by the Sorrow short pass. Yeah, absolutely. It's what they needed, definitely. Uh, you said out when you're out in the field, Vossi, that it was a three, four goal breeze. Um, I didn't think it was that much, but I don't think the breeze has got anything to do with it. They're just using the ball really well. Every time, um, every time they. Pines seem to be going attacking in their 50 zone. They're just Brigden's doing a great job on Edwards. There's no doubt. So good footy by Sharks. The start they wanted for sure, Bossy. So the ball uh, in the lake at uh, Frankston Park here, struggling to come back. Jordy King, some ball winners uh, thus far, mate. Yeah, look, uh, Luke Potts has been dominating. He's had 12. Uh, I don't think anyone's playing at the moment. He's just getting the ball very easily. Uh, and Paul Scadlin five, as well as Lockie Marshall five. Love your work, Jordan King. As you heard, Luke Potts with 12 touches in 23 minutes of footy. He's absolutely all over at the moment. No one running with him. The ball back up now. Williams down towards Mitch Allahan. Bullies away through a couple. Handball up towards the half forward. Gardner out to meet it. He's tackled without it up by set play on. Dabrowski. Handball to Allahan. Shrugs off two. Handball to Deep Pasquale, who's about 2-5. Out to score. Goes in short towards Dawes. Goes through both Dawes and Fisher. Spills out towards Hendry in a foot race with Corb. The boundary line beats them both to it. If you were fishing today, short pass, would you be sort of giving that leg a tap just to sort of oh, test it yeah, a little you'd, bit? You'd absolutely just be giving him a push as he's running off the ball, that's for sure, Bozzi. So the ball, ball back into play, Dawes wins that tap out down towards Gardner, right foot snap gets smothered, spills to Burns, it goes for a right foot snap to the top of the goal square, Bulk in a one-on-one, -on -one. it gets a nice fist in, does Thomas, and Bongetti comes in for support, just fists it through for a minor. So, score goes to 4 6 30, plays 0 2 2. 24 and a half played on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Good battle happening between Ben Thomas and uh, Paholki, too. Lock. No doubt, as Boyle kicks the ball to himself, goes strong up towards half back. Bongo flies, good strong mark against Corp on that occasion. Suck the two Dukes up, took a strong one. But this is where they need him. The centre half forward kick normally goes to him, but he doesn't have much ahead of him now. So Edwards has got to come up from the square. He's just going to go to a one on one. Chad Harris flies from the side through the Dukes. Spilled to ground. Burns and Lewis Smith dive on the footy. Jack Grant comes in for support. And that's where it'll stay. Brinkton got a touch, but it was a touch on the head. He got a falcon there, James Brinkton. <laughs> love Bear one too. Love it. So the ball ball back up. Williams against John. Williams wins that one only as far as Potts. Handball to Parker. Sold some candy. Looks out towards Ludwig V. Grant. Wasn't a great kick. I reckon it'll go out of bounds, and it does. Just look at the sea of people out there. It is unbelievable. The biggest crowd I've ever seen at Frankston Park, I reckon. Absolutely humongous here at Frankston. As the ball's brought back into play right in front of the Pythons. Interchange as the ball spills out the back towards Burns. who goes with the handball back to Grant. Just whacks it on the boot up towards our forward. Bongo on Corp. It gets spoiled away. Spills down towards Tompkins who just whacks it to the top of the square. Dawes in a one-on-one -on -one with Fisher. Goes through them both again. Dawes trying to jostle Fisher out of the way. Just keeps it in front of him. Takes possession. He tried to snap but he had a handball on. Tried to do too much there, Dawes. He had Gardner and Polky behind him and tried to do it himself. Silly. Got pinged on the ball. Pines look to move it on quickly. Boswell now Potts. Potts for his 15th touch. Goes to the short one up towards Lewis. Good fist comes from Burns. And we'll go out of bounds and out of play. Dawes just wanting to prove a point then, Lock. Um, I think wanting to spin around and kick that snap just to contribute to the team. He's caught. Yeah, his leg is very, very sore. Chris Dawes, no doubt. As the ball's brought back into play. Hendry v Tompkins. Hendry easy. Down towards Scanlon, who's taken off without the footy. Up by set play on Deep Pasquale. Tries to bustle through. Couldn't. You ain't getting through Paul Scanlon. 
Absolute staffy of a man is Paul Scanlon. He ain't getting through him, I can tell you that much. As Hendry wins it down towards that exact man who just bustles his way through a couple. Quick kick up towards the centre of the ground. Ludewig comes from the side, but well done, Marston. Strong hands. Plays on quickly back to Daniel Grant, who goes off to his brother Jack, who then goes further back now to Marston. Out on the far side of the ground, wing position. Short one finds Gladman was good. He wants to move it quickly. He's well held up there by McDermott, though. Dawes wants it long, he's going to go short instead, was a poor kick in Kyle Jacobson, chips that one off. So Jacobson, who's asked been to play on, goes with a short one, finds Lewis Smith, they're out now, they can run it all the way. Lewis Smith, he's got Lewis over the top, goes there, De Dabrowski on his hammer, goes with a short one up towards Edwards, was a poor kick, will go out of bounds and out of play, and Aaron Edwards not happy with that, as he shouldn't be, because that was a poor kick from Lewis, he had no pressure on him. And Edwards was out by himself, but you know what? It's a grand final, and he's feeling that pressure, no yeah, doubt. Yeah, absolutely. Edwards just wanted a long lock. He wanted to, to be kicked into space because he thought he could take Brick tonight. So Hedry wins that one down to Scanlon. Starting to get his hands on the footy a bit more is Scanlon, but well done, Chad Harris. Just outbodied Wilcox on that occasion, took a strong mark. Yeah, Wilcox just milking it then, wanted the free kick. Yep, exactly right. Felt the contact in the back and milked it. As Harris looks up towards the middle of the ground, he's got his mate in Shannon Gladman, goes there. He's got Potter out wide if he wants him, ignores it. So he's held up, he's got Burns in the middle, decides to go long up towards Taps, got in a one-on-one -on -one against Hughes, just does the body work there, Taps got the fell over as he went to Mark, so Boswell swoops, handball to Potts, he's had plenty of it, so is this man Scanlon, Scanlon with the ball in the middle of the ground, looks up towards Bongetti at half forward, he'll fly from the side, oh. kicks the right, <laughs> Duke up and dukes it, swheels round onto the left door, Edwards in a one-on-one, -on -one. spills out the back, foot race, Harris McDermott, who's winning it? Harris is, spills the ground, Brickton picks the footy up, handballs and along the ground to himself and Marshall comes in with a big hip and shoulder and will go out of bounds and out of play right in front of that lovely sign down there I must say thanks Cowboy and thanks Gordo two absolute advocates of the Pines Football Club legends of the Pines yeah, Football Club legends no doubt about it as the ball's brought back into play in the pocket Marshall first on it shrugs off to Brolsky oh. handballs, handballs towards the boundary line umpire said it's a push in the back so Marshall will have a free, a free kick, kick on the 50 metre line, probably too far out for the little fella to score. But uh, he'll have a shot nonetheless for their first goal. With quarter time sirens gone, it's 0 2 2, plays Sorrento 4 6 30. We played 29 minutes in that first term of footy. This is a big kick for Lockie Marshall and for his football side. Sets a ball sail with a barrel, it's bending, it's going to fall well short. And Daniel Grant just fists it out of bounds and out of play. So the score will stay the same. 0-2-2, play Sorrento's 4-6-30. They got the jump in that first term with Sorrento. But as we heard Michael Voss say at the start of the game, there's probably a three-goal breeze out there. James Harms is the last one to walk off there, Melbourne legend at the moment. As the ball's back in the middle of the ground, Hendry wins that one down towards Scanlon, who just goes a big fist up towards an half forward. Ludwig out to meet it, Hallahan steals it, that's James. Handball backwards to Jack Grant was good, no 15, said the umpire. So Deeper Squally has to play on, goes short to Potto, goes back to Deeper Squally. He's got nothing ahead of him, so he just goes with a long one up towards Hallahan and Scanlon. Scanlon, good fist, but Burns at the fall, the ball was good back to Hallahan. All of a sudden, he's got three touches and he didn't even have three in the first. Goes with a short one up towards Tapscott in a one on one against, against Boyle. Good work there by Boyle to get the fist in. So out of bounds now to play on the far side of the ground, right in front of that big famous clock tower here at Frankston as Hallahan. He just goes straight through the pack, runs up towards the 50. Baholke with the strong Dukes. He can run into an open goal square if he wants, he does. And he kicks the first of the quarter, and the Sharks have added their fifth. 5 6 36 plays the Python 0 2. That's in the first 50 seconds of this quarter and the Pythons are on the back foot. Absolutely great start for all the Sorrento Sharks. Pines not watching that at all as they kick their first for the second quarter in the, the first 10 seconds, Michael Voss. Made the umpire work big time for that one, but, uh, but yeah, no, good goal by Lee Bahog. He's obviously up and about more so than what he was in the second semi-final. He took until probably halfway through the third quarter to get involved. He's kicked two already, and that's good sign for the Sorrows. There's notable things that I've noticed about a couple of players, Vossi. Chad Harris, he looks a lot fitter. Paholke looks a lot fitter. Just in the last couple of weeks, they just look like they're a lot fitter. And I reckon that week last week really helped them. Tabby as Gladman comes off the square, too, yeah. gives a handball to Mitch Ellahan, looks up towards Dawes in a one-on-one -on -one with Fisher, goes there, but well done there by Boswell. Just chips in and takes a mark. He's off with a running bounce up towards the half back. Goes long up towards the half forward, wide in a one-on-one. -on -one. Grant, the Silver Fox, comes into assist. Spills to Grant. Jack... 
Jack Grant, that is. Handball up towards Potter. Potter does some fumbling. He runs out towards the wing position. White was on his hammer, but he gave a handball away just in the nick of time to Marsden, who goes up towards an half forward. Oh, and Hendry, that's, that's Guy Hendry, got the big one from Nick Corp on that occasion. He's brother in bow coming in to remonstrate, but Pines have got the advantage through White. The umpire said no. You stop to take the advantage. Nick Corp on that occasion. Hendry had the mark, and Nick Corp come in for a big fist, and it just got him in the side of the head. Though Hendry not happy with it at all. Well, obviously, being his brother, um, you know, you're going to take him a little bit personally as um, as Nick Corp's been given 50. So, yeah, that's a guy. I don't know if that's 50. I think the free kick's, def the free kick's definitely there, but it was in the marking contest. I, I personally thought it was a little bit late if Nichols we can get the, um, the no, replay up. No, we can't, unfortunately. Oh, what's happening? So he's going to give a handball, but it wasn't a great handball. Finds Scanlon now, goes in short towards Potts, takes a strong mark at centre half forward. So Potts telling them just to slow down. He's got Edwards on the break. He's going to go there now. It wasn't a great kick, goes off the side of the boot, but Nick Wilcox, who stood there all by himself, Took a strong mark, uncontested, about 40 out directly in front. I'm going to be really obvious here, Relock, and say that Wilcox really needs to get this goal because he just needs to settle the shit, which is the Pines Football Club. It's a bit Michael. of the obvious about it. <laughs> no, it? I'm sorry, I had to do it, but he's got yeah. to go back. He'll kick from right. about 45, sets the ball sail, started right, trying to work it back. It won't work back enough. It's another minor. They just need to get the crowd involved, and that, and that means getting a goal like that, trying to get them up and about just to settle them down. 0-3-3 plays 5-6-36. Three and a half gone on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Short one from Grant finds Langford. So Langford now looking up towards a wing position. Tompkins coming in as does Tapscott. They fly. Spills over the back towards Boswell. It's going to land short of his teammate in Barfoot. Langford just happy to fist the ball up towards the boundary line and Brigden even happy to see the ball out of bounds and out of play. So right on the 50 metre line here for the Sharks. For the Pythons, in fact, it'll be Williams and Hendry to do the ruck work. Hendry wins that one. Handball wasn't great. Finds Jack Grant. Just waxes it on the boot quickly up towards the wing position. Corp flies from behind against Hendry. Good fist comes from Hendry. Goes out towards the boundary line, trying to keep it in as oh, Gladman definitely. does. Handball back to Tompkins. Johns wraps him up and throws him out of bounds and out of play. So right smack bang in front of Lucky Phil on the camera here for RPP. This will be some good vision of the boundary throw in, no doubt. Right in front of the commentary position. Comes back in. Williams does one-on-one -on -one with Hendry. They go one-on-one. -on -one. Good jostle. Spills down towards Scanlon, who just sends one up oh. towards half forward. Free kick goes to White. They take the advantage up to Edward. Sticks the Dukes out. And those strong Dukes in front of Brigden. Brigden couldn't just have done much more there, Lock. Couldn't have done much more. He was right on Edwards here, and Edwards just got the, just they stuck like glue. That's the biggest thing about that battle, mate. Brigden, I felt that he always beats Edwards. Sorry, that's not probably the right wording, but uh, what I should say is Edwards at the end of the day has always beaten Brigden, that Brigden has always gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with him and looked better on the day. Absolutely, because he just he reads the ball so well, Brigden. <laughs> so Edwards will kick from about 30 directly in front, sets the ball, sail, he's kicked it. That could be the lifter that the Pythons need. He kicks there first. 1-3-9, plays 5-6-36, five, 5 and a quarter, played on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. And you're listening to RPPFN, the voice of Peninsula Football. So big one there for the Pythons. That could be the lifter that they need. Ball back in the middle. Williams wins that tap out. And um, Pythons, there's a free kick for Shepparding out of the contest. It's going to go to Pythons. So it's going to go to Bo Hendry. So Hendry wins that one. Goes short towards Marshall, who's all by himself. Goes on quickly. Poor kick towards Edwards. Goes through them all. White picks it up. Handball back to Edwards. He's 40 out from goal. Sets up all sail. Misses. Oh, that would have been huge. <laughs> that would have been that massive. In the roof. One four ten plays five six thirty six. Six minutes played on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Pythons, they're starting to win those centre clearances. They're pumping it in quick. Probably a bit too quick for me. So it'll be Grant to bring the ball back in. That's Daniel. The Silver Fox goes up towards half back. Oh! Well flies from behind. Good take it to ground. Spills to ground. Parker first on it. Goes with a short one of Jacobson. No 15 play on. Just wax it on the boot. Grant under some pressure. Handball to Burns was good. Just wax it on the boot up towards half back. Hughes will fly. Big fist comes from Corp. Johns v Tapscott. Foot race. Tapscott wins it. Didn't see Bo Hendry flying in from the side. And cleans him up. Pigs him holding the ball. 
What do you reckon Bo Hendry is saying in Luke Tapp's got oh! oh! <laughs> He's just faked the stomp as well as Bo Hendry. Gives Amble quickly out towards Scanlon. Scanlon with a short one up towards Parker, who goes in short for Bongetti. Goes up towards Edwards now. Edwards picks a footy up. Handball back to Jacobson. Out spills to Parker. Who goes with a quick left foot. Wasn't great. Goes out of bounds out in the full. Mate, Lock, out of short pass, Kelly. Take a breath. Oh, lucky Kelly. Well done to you for just continuing with the calling of the game. You're a true professional. But that was some of the best. Just that was fantastic then by yeah. uh, by Bo Hendry, the theatre. You should have seen the umpires box all just put their hands on their head and shake their heads. It was hilarious. Long kick out of defence, Mark, taken by Daniel Johns there for the Pine side. He goes in short. Pine's looking better in the last three minutes, four minutes. Perry Lewis Smith goes in short. He's got a teammate there in Boswell that goes over his head. Boswell should get the ball back here. He goes inside attacking 50. Can they get a mark at the top of the goal screen? No. Ball still around the about 25 metres out from the Pines goal and the umpire says I'm going to ball it up. Umpire Travis Denley it is. Sorrento 5-6-36 at the 8 minute mark of the second quarter. Pines 1 goal 4-10. Aaron Edwards with the sole goal for Pines so far and just looking a little bit better and they just need to just eke away at this lead a little bit. They probably won't be in front by half time but they just need to try and eat, eat into this lead by a couple of goals if they can. It's been one goal each of two so far in this second quarter as umpire Denley throws the ball up once again. It's knocked down by Bongetti. A quick kick out. Didn't go that far. It's picked up by McDermott. Around the corner goes the kick. Can Edwards take the mark? And the square comes to the back. Edwards! The ball came off the hands of the pack and Aaron Edwards is there waiting like a bird diving on a chip at the beach. He got the ball and he kicked the goal and he's kicked his second. 2-4-16 plays 5-6-36 and that is on the uh, the uh, Ride Rose Button Dramana Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Great little snag from uh, Aaron Edwards there. They're starting to press hard out of the middle. They're starting to look more dangerous going forward of the footy. 2-4-16, 36 It's back to five goals. Sorry, 20 points in fact. Good math. Good maths work from the, uh, the Loch Ness Monster on that occasion, but that was uh, 20 points of difference. Loch Ness Monster. Nine minutes played on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. <laughs> Self-confessed, self obviously, short pass. I'm a myth, Michael Voss, that's what it means, I'm a myth. Oh, mic drop, he's left the building. So, Bo Hendry v Ryan Williams in the middle of the ground. Hendry wins that one down towards Potts. He's been better held this quarter, but Tap's got big fist off the ground up towards his brother. Free. Umpire said it's a free kick. It's going to go to Lockie Marshall for a trip. So, Pythons are starting to press. They won't be happy, the boys in uh, Bali, the Sereno boys who I know are listening in, watching from Bali this afternoon, so shout out to those boys. Old Sidewoods knows Carter as Pines goes with a one up towards forward 50. Edwards flies, good fist comes from Brigden, and it goes out of bounds and out of play. Noticeable difference for me, Lockie, is that Pines are just starting to play their brand of football. They were just playing defensive foot in the first quarter, unable to um, play their own brand. So the ball ball back into play, Big Fist comes down towards Edwards at the top of the square, goes running back, gets his handball smothered, goes backwards again now to Potts. Potts gets tackled as he picks the ball up, spills out towards Parker, in comes Will Tucker, good kick off the ground out towards the boundary line, that's where it'll go. Hey, short pass, you reckon that's what he says when he walks into the right the club, nightclub, hey ladies, the monster's here? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not about being the monster, Michael, it's about being a myth. <laughs> so the ball ball back into here. play, and I don't go clubbing like you do, Michael. <laughs> Ball ball back into play. Quick kick off the ground towards full forward for the Pythons. Out to meet it was Mars and gets his handball smothered by Marshall. But Sereno have got the numbers. One of them a silver fox grand. He gets his handball chopped off towards Mars and under his pressure. Under his hammer, I should say, was Brandon Lewis, and they're happy to see it out of bounds and out of play. Sorrento very happy to see it out of bounds and out of play lock because they had no one forward of the ball. So they were going to be in strife. Happy to see it out of bounds. So the ball, ball back into play, 80 out from the Pythons goal, Bongetti v Williams, Bongetti wins it, Perry Lewis-Smith tried to bustle his way through, couldn't, oh, Chad right Harris gets tackle. possession of footy, and Perry Lewis-Smith who nearly took his head off. We'll get the free kick, good. will Chad Harris? We're too far away yeah, probably. to judge that one, I saw, I saw, head rip. <laughs> That's why he got the free kick as he goes in short towards Mitch Allahan. He's got to run around wide into Brolsky, but he gets his kick chopped off by John O'Hughes, who goes short up towards a running Jacobson. Oh, he flew with no attempt at the footy ditch goal, Jacobson, but did the work second up to the top of the square. Marshall flies from the side. Big fly. Gets fisted towards the ground, and Perry Lewis Smith smashes him. A oh! the ball. See you later, Tom Langford. 
free kick, Perry Lewis-Smith. That is huge. Tried to break it, but the tackle was high, but I can see why the umpire gave that. Yep, his first movement was trying to shrug off the tackle. Can't do it. Nah, try and kick it instead of trying to shrug it off. And free kick will go to Perry Lewis-Smith. The BOG in the second semi-final lock. 20 out directly in front. Big kick for his side. This will make it a 14-point margin. He'll kick from about 30. The Pines crowd, listen to him if he can go back and slot it. Normally a nice kick of the footy. Sets the ball sail. He's kicked it. And listen to the crowd. The Pythons are coming. 3-4-22 plays the Soros 5-6-36. You're listening to RPPFM, the voice of Peninsula football. Call it the wind or call it good play. Either way, Pines are back in this game. They're 14 points down after being 34 down about six minutes ago. Ball back in the middle. Quick kick by Mitch Hallahan up towards half forward. Sereno just need to play some possession football a little bit at the moment just to try and take this sting out of Pines' tail a little bit. What's the yeah. umpire giving? He's giving a free oh. kick holding the man. Free kick to James Hallahan, it looks like, and yeah. uh, he will go back and we'll, we'll right, tuck no, up. no practice of Hallahan, it's gonna be um we'll tuck up. it's gonna be Tucker with the ball, so he will go back from 65 out. He's too far out to score. He's just gonna try and find Dawes or Bahulky down there or Corp to take a mark. Corp stuck the one juke up but couldn't take the mark. Ball on the ground to the top of the goal square. The umpire says, I am going to ball it up. 5-6-36 Sorrento, Pines 3-4-22. All of a sudden this is a game and we've got the crowd involved. So this is great for Jordy the game King, itself. Mate, you're keeping some stats, some ball winners this quarter. Yeah, look, uh, Nick Boswell's had three along with Paul Scanlon and uh, James Hallahan four. Thank you very much, George. As the ball's brought back into play, court runs onto the footy, well wrapped up by a couple. That's where it'll stay. So Sorrento going to the bay end of the ground. 25 metres out from goal, they are into attack. Leaper Hockey kick their one score this quarter, which was a goal. So can they snag another one here? Pines will be looking to defend hard. They've got themselves back into this game. They don't want to concede an easy one. And the ball is going to be balled up for about the third time in the last probably 45 to 50 seconds in this game. So umpire at the top of the goal square again. Throwing the ball up. That's umpire take by the look of it down there. He throws the ball up. It's knocked down by Hendry. He goes towards McDermott. Ball's still not safe yet if you're a Pines uh, supporter. Now they go over the top towards, well, over the top of Perry Lewis-Smith in actual fact. Now oh, the ball dropped three. It. The umpire says Advantage. that's holding the man. Advantage is paid. They can run to half back. They go with two bounces. They can go with the extra bounce. They go towards the centre of the ground. They go towards Edwards who takes the mark in the centre of the ground. Aaron Edwards is turning around. He's trying to look for an option. There doesn't really appear to be too much down there. Now he goes long. Can Bong get, get into this contest? Oh. What can Bongo do? Just stick a hand and that's all he could do. Daniel Brandt will smother off his boot. It's taken by Barfoot. A snap of dulls a poor kick and it's just like the goalkeeper in soccer. The mark has been <laughs> taken there for Sereno just eking their way back. And they go in short. Shocking it's not kick. a great kick. McDermott, he tries to dive in and get the ball out but he can't. The umpire says I'm going to ball it up right half forward with Pines and attack going to the scoring into the ground. We're 15 and a half minutes into the second quarter of this grand final. Potts, it's Sereno up by 14 points. Potts coming off just for a well-earned well, well -earned break. He's been fantastic. McDermott needs to inject himself in the game. So ball ball back in. Clavin wins that tap out out towards Tucker. Wilcox wins him though, but not before it went out of bounds and out of play. Short pass spoke about Luke Potts just then, Lock. Uh, he's had 19 for the match so far. Absolutely dominating. That is huge numbers. Tom Mitchell, like, as I'm sure you'd like to hear, Jordy King, although Hawthorne are no good. As the ball's <laughs> brought back into play, Deep Pasquale wins it. Hot on his hammer was McDermott. Spills to Lewis Smith. Hammer to Marshall was good, so was that one and back to Lewis Smith. Long and strong, high up to the goal square. Oh, Edwards, smart. well done. Silver Fox in. Daniel Grant just floats back and takes an easy one short pass. Just the general down the back, isn't he, Locke? When you can rely on him, he's there. Goes in short, finds Brigden. So they look to slow things down here, I reckon, Sorrento. Obviously, Pines, they come pressing hard now. He's just going to go long and strong up towards a wing position. Tap's got just pushed off the footy. Up by said it wasn't a shepherd. It's play on. Boswell takes the mark. He's pumping it in oh. quick. Bon Getty and Edwards. Oh. And Edwards flies to the back. He flies on the top of Bongetti, but it doesn't matter. Take your pick. Big as a Edwards. Clutch that. He just read that ball beautifully, timed it perfectly. He flew where none 
beak to flew. And a brilliant out 15 out directly in front. And in Aaron Edwards' standards, he goes back and kicks his one with ease and grace. He soared like an eagle. <laughs> he did. Possibly for his third. He sets a ball sail straight through the diddle. Hey, diddle, 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 diddle. diddle. Never looked like missing the big Aaron Edwards, and they get back within eight points. 4 4 28, plays 5 6 36. That's on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard, and you're listening to R double PFN, the voice of Peninsula football. A sudden with Aaron Edwards kicking his third goal. <laughs> they're back in this game and they've only down by eight points and all of a sudden James Brigden's got himself a problem down there because Aaron Edwards is getting his hand on the ball. He's clucking ever the Michael Boss. And he absolutely is. He soared like an eagle on that one. It was a great mark as the ball comes back to the middle. Pines might be in front by half time the way oh. this is going. Oh. Eight <laughs> points down. What are you they, calling now Michael? No, I'm just, I'm just saying they're, got, they're, they're playing some momentum football. Um, like, oh, dare say there's a dust flies in the centre of the ground oh, the only thing you won't dry. call him for is late for dinner I can guarantee you that Lockie Kelly it's a bit dry in the middle isn't it considering oh, we had a lot of rain yesterday and this morning it's it? really Pelt dry and this morning absolutely oh, it's it's a, given it, the, the ground's been given a nice trim to work by the greenskeepers here the fairway miles are looking pretty good it's a very quick ground today and you, you'll see oh. that as the afternoon unfolds too high free kick and Pines just working their way back here Marshall with the free kick turns it into a hand pass towards McDermott goes in short he's got a teammate there in John who takes the mark he goes well he looks to go back and now he'll go in short he's looking for Edwards he tried to just stand there and get the free kick not to look at that a hand pass Barry Lewis Smith has put Pines' fifth goal on the board and the crowd tells the story they're back the Pythons 5-4-34 plays 5-6-36 we've played 18 minutes in the second quarter and this game is alive lucky that it is you said that at half time the pythons might be up you love your early calls but they're playing that kind of footy <laughs> 90 minutes 19 minutes in fact gone on the bendigo bank scoreboard two points the difference the pythons are pressing the sharks are getting nervous i think they've hit five 12 or 13 minutes it was about six to seven minutes before they kicked the goal in the quarter so five and about 13 minutes Hendry wins that one down towards scanlon deeper squally steals it tries to bustle his way through gets tackled spills to Clavin, trying oh, to do too much to Clavin, and three of them jumped on him. The, the pressure's starting to come from the Pythons, and the Pythons are pressing. McDermott, one of them, runs towards 50. Long kick up towards Bongetti's fist, comes down to Wilcox. Right foot snap. Jacobson's got to be two. He gets it to ground. Who's first on it? Jacobson again. Right foot snap around the corner. Marsden, the goalkeeper, did well to get back and stop it. The He's smallest person on the ground. He did well just to create a contest there, boys. He's he, up against two. He knew what was happening. He dropped back. So short kick comes from Marsden, finds Grant. So Grant goes in with a short one for Deeper Squally a little bit further and Potts just stole it. So Luke Potts in the forward pocket, about 25 out from goal, has the opportunity to put the Pythons in front. There should be, I wouldn't imagine there's too much time left. We're just in time on, so actually, no, there could it's be probably a bit about of time. five or six minutes. Yeah. Seven yeah. Minutes. A couple of goals kicked. <laughs> seven minutes, says Vossi. Luke Potts sets the ball sail. Oh, hits hit the, the woodwork. Work. Geez, that would have brought the house down. Would have, have, have gone back and kicked that. Five, five, thirty-five. Plays five, six, thirty-six. Twenty and three quarter minutes gone. Seven minutes from the time keeper. He looks up towards half knocked out as Grant Boswell flies it behind the big fist. Umpires Main umpire back. said that uh, the goal umpire in Voss was too slow to wave the flag. She needs to hurry her things up. But young, uh, actually. <laughs> Emmy Young. Yeah, right. Well, May as well on, be man. a Voss. So Grant now kicks the ball to himself, looks up towards half back. Court will fly against Hendry. Good fist comes from Hendry, spills to ground. Potts first on it, tries to shug off. Deeper squall, he couldn't. No prior. And that's where the ball will stay. So right on that 50 metre line of the Pythons. Serrano's defence under siege as Johns wins that one down to Scantlin. Just waxed it on the boot quickly. Bob getting a bit of work to do against Marsden. Good body work from Marsden. The ball will race out of bounds and out of play. Jordy, how many for Scantlin this quarter? Uh, four Vossi and eight for the, uh, sorry, 12 for the match. Oh, what, definitely what are you this talking quarter? about? What was that, sorry? Oh, what, so what's he had? 
He's at 12 for the match and 4 for the quarter. What was hard to understand? Oh, just there was so many numbers. Barfoot trying to bustle his way through that. Maybe open your ears and have a listen short pass and he'd understand. <laughs> I'm just like a human calculator. Oh, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Williams wins that one. Perry Lewis Smith steals it. Goes for a quick one. Just goes straight up in the air. Bonk and he shrugs off one. Takes possession. Left foot snap. McDermott tries to go off the ground. Potts does. It's a woodwork again. <laughs> that would have brought the house down if it did it. 5 6 36 apiece here at Frankston Park. 22 Score. gone on the Bendigo back scoreboard. Imagine if we had a draw, wouldn't that be absolutely brilliant? Oh, goodness. Grant goes up towards half-back, Corp v Scanlon. Big fist comes from Corp, spills the ground, taps got in a foot race. In fact, it was Baholki. That's the quickest I've seen him moving a long time. It was a <laughs> yeah. nice ball. Hand pass towards Chad Harris, who's off for the run. He runs away from Hendry Easy. Now runs away from Hughes, but didn't bounce back up to himself. Hendry's back on him now, gets him around the chops. And gives him a little bit of what's for. But he'll get the free kick with Chad Harris. He was lucky on that occasion, but geez, wasn't that a big burst? Great burst. So he's ginger to get up. Ginger to get up here, Chad Harris, because Hendry was into him a little bit. Perry Lewis Smith against Harris. Perry Lewis Smith just gave him a cheap one then for no apparent reason. And he's given 50 away. So Chad Harris now is going to be within goal to have a shot. So the umpire's taking him to about 30 metres out, I reckon. He's still going as the umpire. This is a big, big 50 metre penalty. And the man on the mark going to be standing 15 metres out. Chad Harris, normally a beautiful kick of the footy. Perry Lewis Smith, just with a brain fade on that occasion, gave a silly 50 metre penalty away. And after having all the run, the Pythons, they might just give away an easy one. The ball's still in Chad Harris's hands, though. I better not put the moz on him. 23 and a half played on a Bendigo Bank scoreboard. It's 5 6 36 apiece. This is just to get a bit more breathing room for the Sharks. Sets the ball sail from 20. Always. Misses. Oh, you can hear the Pirates Pythons. crowd letting them know about it. So 5 7 37 plays 5 6 36. 24 gone on a Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Boswell, he kicks it to himself. He backs himself on every occasion. Sends a floater up towards the half back. Goes through Lewis's hand. Spills to Lewis Smith. Stolen by Allahan. Handball to Gladman was good. He's under some pressure. Just got to kick away in time. Dawes has got to beat a couple. Good fist by Boswell. Langford comes in for assistance. Gets a handball out towards Mitch Allahan at the boundary line. Boswell on his hammer dives on him. And I reckon that's when the ball might stay, Michael Voss. Yes, indeed. One point in the margin. 24 and a half minutes played. We've got about three. We've got four minutes to go in this quarter. So we're looking at about a 30 minute quarter, boys, as the ball is in the left forward pocket here for Cyrano. A goal here would. Would uh, would kill off a little bit of Pines momentum. They've got the they've got the run on at this stage. I don't want to give away a cheap goal. High kick there towards full forward. They need a mark to Bahulk. He's hurt in line. The ball comes to the ground. They need to kill it, Pines, and they do. Towards the goal line or behind line over the line for a rush behind. 5 8 38. Plays 5 6 36. It wasn't a rush behind, it was a free kick. Okay, they've given the free kick, so the margin's still a point then. Mark taken by Perry Lewis Smith at left back pocket between left back pocket and left half back. Foreign, I would imagine. Foreign. Siren, not far, I would imagine, Michael Boss. Yeah, about three minutes short. Pass on kick towards Bongo. Uh, Bongetti couldn't take the mark, he should give him a free kick, so Tim Bongetti will take the free kick and he'll go high towards Edwards. He, oh, he's, if he kept his feet there, Brigden lost his feet, but so did Aaron Edwards. The ball goes over the line. Tripped over each other, Michael. Throw in. They're right on each other, but Brigden has had that three goals kicked on him in this quarter, and that's the problem that James Brigden's having. He needs more pressure from downfield because Aaron Edwards is getting some easier ball this quarter as a free kick. Oh, it's going, going to, to for a hole. Ryan holding them in the ruck contest on that occasion. I reckon Bongo is going to have a shot here, boys. I reckon he might just... He does have a very large leak to uh, Bongo, so you could nearly back him from there. He probably set the ball sail from about 55, 56. So it'll take a big leg. But, Guy. Uh, if anything, that wind is blowing down to the car street end. Guy Hendry on the... On the uh, Goal square line too, ready for the mark. Amazingly, this will put Pines in front if he if he kicks the goal right towards half time with about two minutes to go. So Bongetti, he'll kick from 55. What can Bongo do? Get his name on the score sheet. He goes long. He goes high. He goes straight. I think that's a goal. That's a goal. That is a goal. Great <laughs> goal by Bongetti. He pumps the crowd. He lets them know he kisses the badge, and he says, "Boys, get up and about." We're around here. Five points in front lines. Unbelievable. Wow, we. 
I've just been in the shower of Michael Dixon's <laughs> Oh, he loves it. He gets up and about. Especially so did Bongo. He just We're celebrated that goal. We're Sorry, need some windscreen wipers on this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if Michael Voss keeps going on the way he does. Five points of difference. 6 6 42 plays 5 7 37. 27 goal on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Quick comes from Pines. Kick off the ground by Jack Graham was good. Finds Tapscott. That was lucky. Tappy just wanted to slow the play down. So Tapscott looks up towards half forward. He's got Gardner on a big run with James Allahan. Goes to Gardner. Gardner keeps the ball in. Looks up towards half forward. He's got Gladman coming out to meet. It wasn't a great kick. Johns floats back and takes an easy mark. Oh. Could have been 50 against Mitch Allahan. I'm plus not getting close, sucked in by it. Close. So John with a handball off to McDermott, who's got another one wide in Marshall if he wants. Goes there now. Mitch Allahan on his hammer. Gets the kick away, but it wasn't great. It's going to go out of bounds on the full. So Mitch Allahan just laying enough pressure there to force it out of bounds. So Chad Harris to bring the ball back in. No, umpire said it's not you that took it, so it'll be Langford. No, two I'll give it, give it back to Chad Harris. Two minutes to go. Five points of difference. So this is going to be a 30-minute corner at the end of the day as Chad Harris goes up towards the top of the goal square. He's got Tompkins and he's got Dawes. Tompkins flies with a strong mark from the side there on that occasion. Good strong mark, Jaden Tompkins. About 40, 40 out from goal, you reckon, short pass? Well, from when he kicks it, I reckon it's going to be about 49, yep. Yeah, he kicks it. The man sends a mark about 40. Yeah, absolutely. Jaden Tompkins, normally a pretty good kick of the footy. Hasn't had a much of the footy in this uh, final series of Jaden Tompkins, so this will be a good one for his confidence if he can go back and kick this one. Good for his side as well to get back in front. He sets a ball sail from 50. It's in high up and under. It's not going to get there. Bulk, he's going to have to fly. Does. Spills to ground. First on a tap, Scott. Try to don't argue one. Should ping him holding the ball, but didn't set Rick Tag. He's got the experience. Could have been holding the ball. First action, no was, first action was a don't argue. I think the crowd's getting bigger. Yeah, I reckon they might be right. They still keep rolling in. Yeah, don't they? Short pass. absolutely. The ball's brought back into play. Spills out the back towards Burns. He's been in the foot race against Boyle. Oh, oh you're all oh. over it. No, he didn't see him. Burns advantage. They take the advantage through Marshall. Goes for a short one. That was a poor kick. He wanted Edwards to come. Edwards said, no, I want it over the top. So Daniel Grant, the Silver Fox, read it best. Looks to move it on quickly out towards the far wing. He's got Dabrowski. Dabrowski now. One of the biggest schnozzers you've ever seen is Matty Dabrowski. <laughs> Plays on on the wing position, goes up towards Mitchell Ann leading. He's got to beat a couple. Bongetti gets the fist in, spills to ground to Mitchell Ann. What do you know? He gets possession of the footy. He tries to bully his way through, couldn't. We'll get wrapped up. In fact, it was Deeper Squally, who's also a tough customer. So far side of the ground now, half forward for the Sharks. Williams wins that one out towards the boundary line. Tompkins swoops on it, runs around McDermott, runs towards 40, but the umpire's picked him running too far, just trying to do too much. Bulky, he was a bit cheeky on that occasion, was smart, just fits it away as far as he can from the play, just to waste a little bit more time. <laughs> He's a pest. He is a serial pest. He's a serial pest. Wouldn't even let Ben Thomas kick it back to the man <laughs> on the free kick. That's right, wind the clock down, it's what the Pines want. Oh, lovely Bulky, getting under the skin of players, he's just a brilliant player to watch. I love people watching watching people get into him as well because he just plays better. Yeah. So they go up towards a wing position, spills to ground, Lewis Smith, handball back to John was good. But there's the halftime siren. At halftime, we had a brilliant second quarter. The Pythons come back. They hit the front. Michael Voss caught it halfway through that term. They were playing the kind of footy that was going to put them in, in front at halftime, and they yeah. did. 6-6-42 six, six, plays 5-7-37. <laughs> 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 so, Looking Paddy, very relaxed is Paddy too. Lock. He is, no doubt. Ball in the middle of the ground. Big premiership corner coming up. Williams flies. Hendry wins that one, though. He's first on it. Williams holding the man. Free kick, Hendry. So Hendry will get the first one against Ryan Williams. He's got Potts outside. If he wants him, ignores it. He wants it back to Potts, so he goes there now. Burns coming off the square. He doesn't see any Potts. He just gets a kick away. Bong getting on the move up. It's an half forward. Fly! Oh! Strong Dukes. Big Bongo. Bongo. Clucks the first one. Goes in short. Wasn't a great kick. James Allen sticks in and takes a mark there. He's off. Umpire set play on. Goes up to a leading corp on the wing position. Just too quick for Johns on that occasion, but ducked his head. He thought there was contact coming from behind, but Mitch Hallahan swooped. He's got a lift for his side. Short up towards Shannon Gladman. Good fist come from Ben Thomas. 
Umpire said you got him over the chops when you fisted it. So free kick, Gladman goes in short to a leading Baholke. Wasn't a great kick, Gardner. Chip back, got it to ground. Spills out towards Baholke now. Deep Pasquale. He gets possession of the footy, oh. but gets absolutely clotheslined. Thought that would have been given high. But it was, Umpire uh, said he's going to ball it up. Umpire said that he threw his arm up like Joel Salwood to get that free <laughs> kick. So no free kick, Umpire. Throws the ball up now. Caught wins it down to Gardner. Gardner caught one around the chops. Umpire blindsided. So again, he'll come in and throw the ball up. So a replay of the Bongetti mark coming up on screen there. That was a great grab from Bongo. Ball brought back up to play. Court wins that one down towards his teammate in Deep Pasquale. Stolen by Hendry. Goes with a kick straight up in the air. Boswell tries to bustle his way through. Couldn't. Chad Harris steals the footy. And what a Burns was good. Goes back now to Jack Grant. He's just going to sit it high and up to a leading Baholke. Going to have to beat a couple here. Guy Hendry spoils his teammate in Ben Thomas. Spills to ground. Guy Hendry's got to do the buttering up. He does well. And Vorta Boyle was good, but put himself under some pressure. Ran back into traffic. Gives Amble back to Hendry. And Hendry is taken to ground. So put themselves under a bit of pressure there. Did the Pythons defence. Ball's coming in hot. About 40 out from... The Sharks goal now, ball back up the play, Mitch Allen just goes for a sweeping handball out towards Wilcox, Wilcox steals it now, gets wrapped up by Gladman nice and quick. About 10 metres out from the Sharks goal now, they'll start to press, they'll certainly want the first one, Sereno no doubt after Pines is big corner, they'll want to draw first blood here as they do through Tompkins, well done Tompkins, just rode that pack well, quick kick out of the pack was good. And kick the first. So they go to 6 7 43, plays Pine 6 6 42, two and a half played in the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Great start for the Sharks. Definitely the start they would have needed after that uh, that second quarter performance. They're going to be up and about now. Good to see Tompkins just getting in there, driving his own ball, kicking that sausage. Good start. It is a good start and good confidence for the young fella in Jaden Tompkins. He gets up and about when he's playing well, does Tompkins. So. He'll certainly draw from that, no doubt, as will the Sharks. The ball's back in the middle. Hendry wins that one. Now it's Mitch Hallahan that bully his way through to the top of the square. Wasn't a great kick. Ben Thomas floating back takes an easy uncontested mark. So they're playing with a loose now, I reckon you might find. As he goes up towards half-back, gets it spoiled away from him, does Perry Lewis-Smith, but spills the ground. John's first on it. Nice handball finds Boswell. Boswell looking up towards a wing position. Now goes up towards the wing. Bongetti gets a fist from Daniel Grant. Daniel Grant does a roving as well. Handball wasn't great towards Tapscott, but he's got some work to do. Hendry, he just shrugs Hendry off. off and then tripped him. So free kick Luke Tapscott. Boys, the crowd has been confirmed at about 8,000 people here this afternoon. Yep, wow. that's a huge crowd yes. for a local football game. Unbelievable. So Tapscott with possession of the footy in the middle of the ground. Just going to send a barrel up towards Corp. He flies. Nearly jukes it, spills to Tompkins. Now to Burns. Back to Tompkins for his second in a minute. Kicks it. Tompkins adds their seventh. 7-7-49. Seven, seven, Pays the Python 6-6-42. Six, six, Four minutes played on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. And you're listening to RPPFM, the voice of Peninsula Football. So they add their seventh through the Sharks, 7-7-49, seven, seven, plays the Python 6-6-42, six, six, two early ones in this third term to Jaden Tompkins, the Premiership quarter. They need to do all they can to shut down the Pines crowd to the Sharks because once they get up and about there's no stopping the Pythons as Scanlon wins that clearance, goes up towards an half forward, wasn't a great kick and it gets spoiled there by Matt Dabrowski. The players jump on him and that's where it'll stay, so just in between an half forward and the centre of the ground. Here for the Pythons at Frankston Park. 8,000 the crowd, a brilliant crowd for local football as Andrew wins that tap out down towards Scanlon. Wilcox swoops on it, he's well tackled by Tapscott. Spills out towards Gardner, gives a handball to James Allen, tries to shrug off Thomas Cood. Got a handball to Burns, they're pressing again. Just goes very high up and under towards Corp who takes it. Plays on quick, right foot snap, bouncing, goal! The Sharks have kicked their third for the quarter, 8-7. 55, plays a Python 6 6 42, and they've done it in the first five minutes of this term short pass. Absolutely unbelievable start by the Sharks. Obviously, uh, Nick Corp taking position of the ball. He wasn't he wasn't uh, too confident to kick the kick it toe punt, so he was able to dribble it across for their uh, their third for the quarter. Jaden Tompkins with the two in first uh, four minutes, and Nick Corp just uh, with one just then, and five and a half minutes played in the third, and that's on the uh, on the 
the Bendigo Bank scoreboard lock. So they've got the early start they wanted the Sharks. Ball back in the middle of the ground. Henry wins that one. James Allahan first on it. Looks up towards half forward. He's got Gardner and Gladman on the move. Mitch Allahan floating back as well. Good contest between Boswell and Allahan. They both go to ground. They're both sore. But the ball will race out of bounds and out of play. So good contest from both of those players on that occasion, Bossy. Yes, 13 points is a margin in favour of Serena. They've gone bang, bang, bang in the first six minutes. Pines have to answer now. Pines will come home with the wind in the last quarter, but Sorrento just all of a sudden they've just put the foot down in this quarter. They're just asking a few questions of the rookies. Pines going for their first premiership in 24 years. Off the hat pack, Marshall a hand pass. Looking there for White. A quick kick by Sean White towards the right forward pocket. It's going to be picked up there by Barfoot. He goes around the corner, he goes to the left foot kick. That was very ambitious. He goes towards the pocket, the mark has been taken. It's been taken down there. It might be Harris in there, is it? It's yeah. certainly. Oh no, it's Daniel Silver Brand. Fox. It's okay. It's Daniel Brown. Okay. Gray hair glistening yeah. in the sun. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can see the glistening oh! water in the background oh. there as well, boys. Off the pack is a chance for Serena to go towards their teammate there in Tompkins, but the ball is. Oh. Burns was tackled. He got taken high, maybe. The umpire said no, holding the ball. No, says Travis Tennelly, umpiring his seventh senior grand final. And I think I read somewhere that this is going to be his last, by the way, but uh, I guess... Burns like, nearly getting killed by Bo Hendry then. Boundary up, uh, ball up by the umpire. Scanlon kicks it into his teammate there. It's picked up by Boswell. Goes to the high kick, but it's out of bounds in the fall, and the crowd is silent at the moment because the, Sor the Soros have kicked three goals in this quarter. And they are asking a lot of questions here at Pines. Pines have to answer. It's 8.755 Sorrento. Pines 6.642. The Bendigo Bank of Rye, Rosebud and Dramana scoreboard as the ball is going to be brought back in from where Soretto's interchange bench is. A long kicked up the line, the broadcast side going up, Hendry couldn't take the mark, two of them went up, it's taken by Gardner. A high kick towards full forward, going up for Hulky. was that over the shoulder? The umpire said no, they might get another one, and Gladman off the ground, it's a behind, he's just the near side. Now boys, something I haven't noticed in this third term early, is that Chris Dawes didn't start on the ground and he still hasn't been onto the ground. I look out to the bench, he's got his hands on his knees, but he's standing up. So it looks like he's still going to partake in the rest of this game, but maybe just getting him on ice for the first 10 minutes. There's a lot more strapping on that uh, that leg too from when he started, Lock. Might find that he got a jab at half time and he's just waiting for that one to kick in a little bit. So keep an eye on that one, no doubt, as the ball's brought back in by the Pythons. Marshall at half back now, going to go with a long one up towards half foot. Um, to the wing oh. position. Guy Hendry flies from the side, gets it to ground, Potts first on it. Oh, Guy Hendry just sent an elbow straight into Nick Corp's guts. Nick Corp laughing at him. It hurt him though. As he goes up towards and a half forward now. Jacobson does the work, manages to get it out towards Lewis. Goes with a sweeping one towards McDermott. He's got Marshall out wide, goes there now. He's got Jacobson running back towards goal. He's got to beat a couple, so does Parker. Spills the ground. Brigton just taps it up into the warts. The disposal of Deeper Squally. Spills out towards Tapscott. Handball further to Hallahan. Running away from Perry Lewis Smith, nice kick up towards half forward, finds Gardner and needs to get up and go quick. He does. He's got Gladman in short, elects to go long corpse all by himself. And he takes an easy uncontested mark. About 25 out directly in front. Johns just completely lost touch. Yeah, absolutely. At his back towards the ball then. Couldn't quite see it coming in. Watch for the runner for Corp. Um, someone's going to want to run past and grab that ball from him because uh, we know he's not a great set shot lock. He's either a beautiful set shot or he's a horrible set shot. So it'll be interesting to see this one, how this one goes. This can get the margin out to 20 points. It is currently 6-6-42 plays 8-8-56 he'll kick from about 35 sets the ball sail he likes it he's kicked it through the hay diddle 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 and the Sharks are up by 20 9-8-62 plays 6-6-42 10 minutes gone on a Bendigo Bank scoreboard and you're listening to RPPFM the voice of Peninsula Football <laughs> As the ball makes its way back in, Serena have kicked four goals and Pines haven't scored in this third quarter. It was 6-6 to 5-7 at half time. It's now 9-8-62 Serena, Pines 6-6-42, but Pines will come home with the scoring in in the last quarter. But it's out of 14 goals, we've had, uh, out of 15 goals, we've had 14 kicked to the car straight into the ground as the ball is back in the middle. 
John goes up in the ruck contest. Hallahan overruns it. It's taken here for Pines by Lewis. He received the hand pass. He goes towards half forward. He was looking there for McDermott. He oh, lost it right back on McDermott. He needs to kick a goal. He goes the banana and he misses. It was a good effort by was Tom two McDermott. Minds, was in two minds, Tom McDermott. It was a lovely tap by Bonchetti, but uh, McDermott, he was in two minds of whether he should centre the footy or whether he should go for home. He, he decided hesitated, to go for he? home, but it was a hesitated shot at goal, and that's he why he missed the goal. lost short pass. Absolutely, Michael Boss. So brought back in by Daniel Grant. Caught will fly against the couple. Gets it to ground. Bonchetti does the roving. Gets caught. Manages just to get a handball away, only as far as Langford. Goes inside towards Mitch Hallahan. Can't take possession of the footy. Good pressure, Perry Lewis-Smith. Handball backed out towards Guy Hendry. Goes with a short one for McDermott. Good fist comes from Harris. Spills the ground. Wilcox just does the shepherding for Barfoot to come through. Pick the footy up. And that's pinged holding the ball. Ambitious. Play on advantage, says Very. the umpire. Jack Grant running up towards centre half back. He's got Dabrowski on a big move out in the wing position. He's backing his pace against Parker. Good tackle comes from Parker. Just got a kick away, but... It was a horrible one. So Berhendry just comes in, sells some candy around Gladman. Gets cleaned up by Baholke. Got to kick away Jars, but Tapscott stood in the middle of the ground. Took a strong mark against Scanlon. So Tapscott now in the middle of the ground. He's got Langford all by himself out in the wing. Goes there. Well corralled now by Wilcox. He's Langford, so we've got to slow things down a little bit. Guy Hendry floating back to fill the hole as is Boswell. So not much moving for him. Centre of the ground. Goes in back towards the middle. Finds Marsden. But it's got another one out the other side in Grant. So Grant, as you see, Dawes running onto the ground with the worst limp you've ever seen. Why is he even running out there as they go further up towards half forward? Finds Gardner. Gardner with a handball to Tapscott. Runs towards 60. Flying shot at goal. But Hockey sticks the Dukes up. Couldn't take it. Hendry happy to see it go through for a minor. Filthy with the umpire is Bahoki. Thought it was a free kick. Uh, again, the umpire is calling it back because that goal umpire down there. I think it's is it James Richardson or Richo. They call him down at the uh, sewer. Mm -hmm. Just a bit too slow to wave those goal flags. They're on the they're on the ropes here at the moment. Short pass. They're going to come back off the ropes and start swinging pines because they're oh, in trouble at the moment. <laughs> Settle, Michael. Boss. No, well they're, they're taking a battering at the moment, boys. They've got to start swinging again, as in literally, as in attacking. They're just going back in their shell out of the first quarter. They do as they start to go forward now through White. Nice handball finds Lewis Smith. He's got McDermott on a break back to the goal square. Goes there. McDermott v Harris. Harris does the pressure work. He was good. Was Chad Harris. Brilliant defensive work by Chad Harris on that occasion. He's been good to Chad Block. He has been. I'm sure he'll be a handy player for Rosebud next year if Nick Jewell could get him. Yeah, well, they've been sighted together, haven't they? So, about 45 out from the Pythons goal. They need to find one here. 20 points the difference. We've played 14 minutes in this third term of footy as Wilcox tries to break through, just hand handballs it up towards the goal square. Williams comes in, tries to get a fist off the ground, does out towards Parker, who ducked his head, gets wrapped up. And the umpire will come in and throw the ball up. So it's about 20 out from the Pythons goal. They really need to draw one somehow from here. Be very important and uh, damaging if the Pines were able to get one here. Hendry v Williams. He wins that one down to Potts. Potts is well wrapped up nice and quick though. Only moving forward about five minutes. So still five metres I should say, not minutes. So still about 15 out from the Pythons goal. The crowd out this side is absolutely huge. Al Fuller, you're down there. The ground didn't look like he was in great shape. Yeah, looked in poor shape, no doubt, mate. Thank you very much as Jack Grant goes up towards half forward. Jaden Tompkins now wins the footy, but well done. Daniel Johns just strips him of it. Handball back to Guy Hendry to sends a big spiral to the top of the goal square. Bonchetti try to get two grabs, caught it. Spills to Wilcox. Left foot snap around the corner, kicks it. That's the one the Pythons needed. 7-7-49, plays the Sharks, 9-9-63. We've played 15 minutes on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. And you're listening to our double PFN, the voice of Peninsula Football. Well, they've come out swinging there. They've managed to get themselves a goal back and they needed it there, Pines. Great goal by Nick Wilcox, it was. And all of a sudden, uh, Sereno get the centre clearance. They go towards centre half forward. The ball overran Nick Corp. A hand pass towards Guy Hendry. Better get rid of the ball. He does. That was cool. Ball towards Luke Potts. Beautiful who's got it. He knows this ground very, very well. Luke Potts made a lot of football here in his time. 
ball over runs here. The player in Jake, the ball there for, for the Pines. Uh, that's a free kick to Henry for over the shoulder. Surely, Guy Henry here just topping a well, not a strain there, but it was a, it was a knee over the knee over the neck. So managed to get a free kick there and gets up and passes it off out towards the Brian Mays grandstand side. Just settle their points, and they just need to settle. They've got a goal now. They've just got to try and hold firm here at the moment. Serena up by 14 points in the grand final. It's taken by Daniel Grant in the centre. He goes towards half forward. He's looking there for his teammate who can't take the mark, but the ball is over the top. Tompkins might get on the end of another one here, boys. He's, uh, no, he's not going to get towards that one. Wilcox tapes the ball out. Not Wilcox, uh, Boswell it was, tapped the ball out. Oh. Kick towards the top of the goal square. Went straight through Tompkins' arms. Oh. Ball picked up by Hallahan. Oh. James Hallahan spins oh, around. James. He steps the goal. And only James Hallahan can do that. That was brilliant. 10-9-69, Sorrento. They answer again. Pine 7 7 49. And that's on the Bendigo Bank of Rye Rosebud and Dramana scoreboard. Don't argue. Pirouette runs around the second. Snap it goal. Thank you very much. We're going to get a replay of it because it was absolutely prime time from James Allahan. Ex golf replay. Chris Dawes just running off the boundary line off to go through the interchanges again. And I I don't reckon we'll see him again this afternoon. There's just no point. He's cool. well and truly done his Chris Dawes, but the Sharks have got an extra lead. 20 points, 7-7, 49, 10-9, 69. As Mitchell Ann bullies his way through. Perry Lewis-Smith, good tackle. Just got the ball away. Only for as far as Parker. Down to Perry Lewis-Smith. Quick kick forward to Edwards. He gets his handball smothered by Williams. He just whacks it on the boot up towards the wing position. Good bounce goes towards Clavin. Bounces over his head, though. Hughes just sends a big fist forward, looking for Potts to run onto it. Well done, James Hallahan. Come in to assist. Handball back to Langford was good. Under a bit of pressure now is Langford. But trying to run in and out, couldn't. Big snap up towards our forward. Scanlon flies back in front of Corp. Good fist comes from Corp. They both dive on the footy. And that's where the ball will stay. So 17 and three quarter minutes played on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Short pass. Ja I'm just thinking, James Hallahan, how, go how good is that? He is just incredible, isn't he? He's to elite. come out of the pack. Just brilliant goal. So Mitch Allahan now extracts a footy. Hamilton to deeper squarely was good. Goes with a quick one up towards Sanar forward. Clavin in a foot race with Hendry. Clavin closing. Tendry just keeps it in front of himself. Good work by him. Good tackle comes from Tapscott. It spills just got a kick away just up towards Wilcox. It goes up towards half forward. Unlucky bounce for Bonchetti. Edwards went for the smart tap. Was too cute. Should have taken possession of it. Work though. Spilled to Bonchetti. Handball to Jacobson. Handball to Marshall. Running inside 50. It's pushing left. Can he take a mark? Ludwig? No, he can't. Oh, we followed that ball from the foot. Fisted through for a minor score. So the Sharks look to bring it back in quickly. Wilcox. Oh, he was closing on Grant on that occasion. But just with strong hands, Jack Grant. Marshall could have run a bit closer there, boys. Could have. Should have kicked that one, Marshall. That's an easy one in the context of this game with the no pressure on that occasion as Bonchetti takes a strong mark. Goes in quickly to Zanar, forward to Potts. He's got a short one in Edwards. Goes there, was just too short for him. Spills to ground now. Jacobson first on it against Brigden. Spills out towards Potts. Who can run inside? 50 does. To the top of the square. Parker sticks the two mitts up, dukes it. Good strong mark from Harley Parker taken in front of Matty Dabrowski on that occasion. Yeah, way too strong then, Lock. Could see the contest coming a mile away. Well done, Parker. Great mark of the football. And he uh, lines up for uh, the Pines, second for the quarter. So Parker took the mark about 20 out from goal. He's on a slight 25 degree angle. He'll kick from 25. This will be big, big for his club. Watch him celebrate if he kicks it. Sets the ball sail. It's working left to right. It stayed too far left. Goes through for a minor. As we've said before and you say it all the time, when you start to work it with your body, when it comes off, it's not looking good. It ain't looking good no way. 7-9-51 plays the Sharks. 10-9-69. We've got three goals of difference. We've played 20 minutes in this uh, third term of football as Hallahan to bring the ball back in long and strong up towards an half forward Corp flies good fist comes from Johns handball now to Boyle runs towards an half forward short one was good finds Perry Lewis Smith so Perry Lewis Smith took the mark right on 45 meters we'll see how strong this wind is right now boys yeah yeah we will right Michael so Perry Lewis Smith will have to kick from about 50 meters it'll take a very good leg against this wind but he's backing himself. He's played a couple of games in the VFL this year, so he should know this ground pretty well. He lets the ball go from 50. It's holding up in that breeze. It ain't going to get the distance, but Bongetti from the side! Bongo from about three deep.
took an absolute screamer right at the top of the goal square. And he kicked from about Mike. 10 metres straight in front. It flew like, it just flew like an aeroplane through the air there and just absolutely just took a brilliant mark. That was an absolute massive juke. We'll get the replay of that one, no doubt, because that was a superb mark by Bonchetti. He's just got to kick the goal now. Walks in, kicks it, and he's getting the crowd <laughs> up and about. He kicks their eight. 8-9-57, plays the Sharks 10-9-69. We've played 21 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard, and you're listening to RPPFN, the voice of Peninsula Football. I missed it again. Marching back to 12 points here in the grand final. It's Sorrento, 10-9-69. Pines, 8-9-57. We played 22 minutes in the third quarter. Pines will have the scoring in, in the last quarter. The wind still relatively strong, still around that sort of three to four goal breeze, you'd imagine down there. We'll hear from Al at three quarter time, but in the meantime, the ball back in the middle. John gets the ball down, taken by Marshall. A defensive hand pass to Scanlon. Where's he going with that? He goes to the running Boswell. He just took it and went. Went goes to half forward. Mark taken Your by man. Sean White. He goes in short. He's looking there for a teammate there in Barfoot. A quick kick. McDermott, McDermott should oh. take the line. He just couldn't quite get to it. That is a trouble. They're not going to pay that. Yeah, oh, yes. they are. Yeah, they are. Yes, they are, Michael. You can't fist it out of bounds and not call it deliberate. He wanted, that's he the wanted, first one we've seen all season, Lock. He wanted the behind and he just went the fist and go straight out of bounds and out of play. McDermott, he's about 10 metres on the boundary line, about three deep amongst that Pines crowd. Runs around on the right foot, snap and go! McDermott kicks it! They're back within a goal! That was a great right foot, boot da 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 I'm not denying <laughs> within a goal, the Pythons delivered out of bounds. 22 minutes gone on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. We're back within a goal. You're listening to RPPFM, the voice of Peninsula Football. Boy, oh boy, the Pythons are pressing. They're within a goal as Corp wins that tap out down towards Mitch Allen. Handball to his brother. Handball to Tapscott. They're all combining now for the Sharks. They need to lift. Jacobson just cleans up Tapscott but didn't have the footy on that occasion, did Luke Tapscott. So free kick to Luke Tapscott right on the 50 metre line. So what can, uh, what can the coach do here just to settle Sereno down? All of a sudden the margin is back to six points. We're 24 minutes into the third quarter, Luke Tapscott. Oh, Mount tells a story. Crowd, Michael Boss. Mount tells a story, I should say. Tapscott goes high. Tells another story because he's missed. And the ball goes <laughs> over the back. And through from behind. The Pines ground are telling the story out there. We're just going, we're just going with the uh, the words and the actions out there, short pass. The margin is seven points in the grand final. It's 70 to 63. And it has been a great game so far, and we've got plenty left in this game as the kick comes out towards the broadcast side. Wilcox, uh, sorry, uh, Boswell goes up, I should say, takes the mark. So he's got it at half back, Nick Boswell. He's had a good game this afternoon. He goes towards half forward, he's looking for Barfoot. It came off almost his knees there as the ball, he's going to go back and try and get the ball. He plays it through pressure, the umpire says, I'm going to ball it up. Umpire Travis Denley, 25 minutes in the third quarter. Michael Voss, to seven points. if you're the Pines, do you want another one or are you just happy to hold it up? I think if they, they'll try and get one if they can, but I'd, I'd be happy with a seven point deficit with a three goal win. Like they're good enough in the last quarter to, to do it. So, That's my thoughts. So they don't want to concede. That's the simple thing right now. Try and hold firm and just go with what you've got. You're in front at half time. Serena, I've had the scoring in this quarter. Marshall. Free kick right over the shoulder. Free kick to Marshall. Advantage paid. Scanlon starting to get his hands on the ball a little bit too. Luton. Goes to centre half forward. Going up. Little wing couldn't take the mark. Ball on the ground. Quick kick out of defence. Bon getting in front. Uh, good pressure by Cork. Bob got the ball down to Gladman. He is tackled like the rag doll. That should have been holding the ball. And it wasn't. And it should have been. The umpire says it's centre half forward. I'm going to have the ball. And the margin is seven points. And how long have we got locked? We've got a minute and a half. It's a point centre half forward line. Bonkini v Cork. Bonkini wins it down towards Marshall. Mitchell Ann tries to bustle his way through. Couldn't. Oh, Somehow Scanlon just oh. took it. 
stole it out of Hallahan's hands and then <laughs> caught one around the legs. So we pump it in there quick. Was a poor kick. Somehow gets to ground. First on a McDermott. Oh, it's oh, oh. around the chop. Oh. And McDermott's going to get a free kick about 30 out directly in front. Jack Grant just wrapping his arms around the chops of Tommy McDermott. He's been quiet all afternoon, but he's kicked the last and he's got the opportunity to kick two within two minutes. And this will be a point the difference if he can go back and slot it. They're getting around Big Bongo as he runs off the ground. He's had a big quarter. Huge quarter, definitely. Big Tommy McDermott, big goal for the young fella. Big goal for the Pythons if he can kick it. Sets it, sail, puts it through the hay diddle diddle. There was hit a point. 10-9, <laughs> please. 10-10, 70. 25 gone on a Bendigo Bank scoreboard. And you're listening to RPP FM, the voice of Peninsula Football. <laughs> A point the difference at three quarter time. It looks like we've got about a minute to play. Williams wins that tap out down towards Scanlon. Tries to push off tap Scott couldn't. It'll stay right smack bang in the middle of that ground. The dust count, the dust clouds fly from that centre. Tapscott's filthy from the dirt. Spills down towards Bo Hendry. Goes for a quick one. Couldn't. Mitchell Ann picks a footy up. Don't argue. Drops it. Umpire pings him holding the ball. Advantage. Scanlon quickly inside 50. Up goes Edwards. Up goes Ludewig. Spills to McDermott. Oh, McDermott again. Gets his, gets his head ripped off again. McDermott just a wiry little customer under the pass. <laughs> this will be the last kick of the quarter, boys. McDermott cops one around the chops. And there's, there's a, a siren. Quarter time siren. If he kicks this, they are five <laughs> points up going into the last quarter. I am so nervous for this kick. McDermott, you watch the crowd go absolutely oh. boonananas if you can kick this. You wow. kick the 45 directly in front. Set, set, sail. It's kicked it's it. McDermott's kicked his third for the corner. And he kicked the Pythons 12. They're a goal up. Oh boy, oh boy! The Pythons are gone bang, bang, bang! And they're five points up going into three quarter time. Boy, oh boy, do we have a ball game for this last quarter? Oh, just the stage is set, look. 9 75, plays 10, 10, 70, 27 and a half was played in that Bendigo Bank third quarter. Off the over. 8,000 people here, the boys. I reckon there's probably even more. There was 8,000 confirmed. I reckon more have still come in as a Hendry flies straight down towards Scanlon. Scanlon gets pulled off the footy umpire. Said play on, dives on it now as Williams. Hendry dives on him. So still in the middle of the ground here. At Frankston Park. A big last quarter to be played. It's the Pythons by five points. They're kicking with the wind. Tried to come through with it there was Wilcox. He did. Got a handball away towards Pops. Scott, who's running towards the 50. Edwards on the lead. He's got the space against Brigden. Brigden with some good body work. Taps it out towards the boundary line. Foot race between Jacobson and Brigden. And good work there by Brigden just to get it out of bounds and out of play. Absolutely, because Jacobson, geez, he was coming in hot. He's not a slow fella, is he? Little Carl Jacobson applies a lot of forward pressure when they need him. Ball ball back into play right on the 50 metre line. Bongetti down to Scanlon. Scanlon drops a footy, gets tackled up by a set play on. Williams dives on it. Bongetti dives on him. And that's where the ball will stay. Hasn't that been a great matchup? Chewy Scanlon and uh, Tabby. Score, score is Luke Tapscott. Keep an eye on that one. Just outside the Pythons 50. Williams and Tap uh, Bongetti to do the ruck work. Williams wins it, only as far as Scanlon, quick kick towards 50. Chad Harris tries to come through with it, well tackled, drops it, umpire said play on. No, nope, oh. the umpire's called it back, it was a late was call, a so he threw it. So free kick, going to go to Brendan Barfoot. And Brendan Barfoot has the early opportunity for the Pythons to kick one and get 11 point lead in this last oh, turn. This will be you huge. watch the crowd Absolutely. get up and about if Look you can They're all this. watching. Brendan Barfoot, the man stands the mark. About 25, 30 metres out from goal. He walks in now for the Pythons. Sets the ball sail. It's well right. It's not going to get the distance. Edwards flies from the back. Spills to ground. Hallahan just handballs it straight through for a minor score. The Pythons are purely for <laughs> deliberate. But, uh, not going to happen. No such thing as that in uh, the MPNFL. 
Well, there wasn't. So, Daniel Grant to bring the ball back in. He's just going to go long and strong, but Pines have got numbers absolutely everywhere, and Bongetti is one of oh, them. Oh, that's 50. Uh, he milked that. Oh. So, Bongetti takes the mark right on the paint of the 50-metre line, and you watch how much of a thumping kick this man is. He kicked one from the exact same spot on the other side of the ground. Early in the second term, he now has the opportunity to do it from the other side of the ground, and, well, this will be for a two-goal lead. It is Tim Bongetti to set the ball sail from the Pythons. He'll kick from 55. You watch him go bananas if he kicks it. It's not going to get the distance. It's going to be a flying contest. Good by Brigden to get the mark. And fist it through for a behind. But free the Empire's picked a free, free kick, kick for a push in the back and a go to Nick Corp. So Edwards just a bit of a shove in the back. So Corp gets a free kick at the top of the goal square. So no score. So we'll stay at 11, 11, 6, 11, 10, 76. The Sorrento's 10, 10, 70, three minutes gone. Kick oh, comes in from court with Paul. Barfoot. And Barfoot takes a strong mark against a couple about 40 out directly in front. Oh, I shouldn't say directly in front. <laughs> I should Michael say Boss. a 25 degree angle. <laughs> I Everything's like directly Boss. in front for Michael Boss. There's plenty of open goal pace. So there's plenty of open goal pace that's directly in front. It is for pass. you, Michael, because you are a brilliant <laughs> kick of the footy. As Barfoot walks in now, he'll kick from 45. He needs to make up for his last one. It looks pretty good off the boot. He's got the distance. And he's got it straight through the hay diddle diddle! 11, 12, set 82. Plays 70. I think it's two goals of difference here on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. What did Barfoot do after he kicked it? Went straight to Taps. Good was into him. 12, 10, 82. Plays 10, 10, 70. Four minutes played on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. And the Pythons, they're looking like they're getting closer and closer to the Division 1 Grand Final. Look at that scene, boys. Look at that scene. The crowd is humongous as Hendry wins that tap out down towards Potts. Gets possession, handball to Scanlon. They've been combining all year. This is the big one they need to combine in, but it's well stolen by Hallahan, who goes quickly up towards Bulky on a strong lead. Good fish comes from Fisher. Good fist from behind there by Fisher to fist it out of bounds and out of play right in front of the Pythons. Crowd about 30 out from the Sharks. Goals have brought back into play. Cork flies, wins it down towards Boyle. Boyle steals it. Handball down to Perry Lewis-Smith who is good who starts running through the middle of the ground. Edwards on a big presentation. Grant couldn't fly back and take the mark so it spills to Grant. Edwards first on it. Tries to shrug off a couple did. Jacobson whacks it on the boot. Does it bounce kindly for Ludwig? It does. He's under some pressure by Chad Harris. That's a great tackle holding the ball every day of the week great work Chad Harris just to be more aware there like speed him like no tomorrow well, on that he, occasion there Chad Harris he just got that ball didn't he and he was off so Chad Harris goes short out wide finds Grant no time to slow things down here for the Sharks they need to go long and strong they need to attack Right on the chat then. So Grant going to go long up towards half back. Taps got flies the big fist straight back in towards defence. Chad Harris on the end of it. He's been good today, Chad Harris. He goes up towards the wing and put the moz on him. That was a poor kick. Guy Hendry stood there by himself, took an uncontested mark. So Hendry now on wing position, looking deep forward. Edwards Bongetti there. He's going to go there now. Edwards will have to fly against the couple. Spills to ground. Brickton gets possession of footy. Edwards tackles him. Spills now down towards Brendan Barfoot, who's been lively in this last term. It gets quickly wrapped up. Hot footy, lock, hot footy. That it is. So about 40 out from the Pythons goal. You feel if they can kick another one here, they're a genuine sniff of winning this grand final as Alahan wins that clearance. Goes with one up towards half back. Boswell out to meet it with Corb. Both happy to see it go out of bounce and out of play. Morning to Cricket Club legend uh, Danny Clements, aka Pie Man, agreed with my call about the, uh, they've got to go harder, they've got to go the harder. Come out swinging, go at the body. <laughs> he absolutely <laughs> agreed with me. Good afternoon, Pie Man, he's enjoying the call too. As Bo Hendry goes inside, attack from 50. Little wing gets a hand pass, but it was cut off. Yeah, so they've happen. just got to defend here, Sereno. They get a free kick at half back. Next goal, well, you say it's crucial, it is absolutely critical if you're a Sereno supporter. They need the next goal they're going against the win in their two goals Chad down. 50. And so Chad Harris will get a 50 metre penalty. He's going to settle down here, Pines. He got the momentum, but they need to make it count. They've got the scoring in. The scoring in can't do it on, on its own. They've got to be a contributing factor if they're going to get over the line here. They're looking good at this stage, but they're still not home yet. Kick out towards half forward. Mark taken by Gladman. He goes in short. 
and going over the head of Paholke. It goes to Boswell in the back pocket. He goes around, he gets the ball over towards his teammate there, oh. who goes in short. It was John O'Hughes. It was a poor kick, and the mark has been taken for Sorrento directly in front. 40 metres out from goal, and the margin is 12 points. It might be six after this kick, and it's Luke Tapscott with the ball, who you can tell that the... Uh, when Luke Taps got the Pines got the faithful ball. Michael Voss don't like him. They absolutely give it to him. Taps got as the shot. It. And, oh, and Bo Hendry straight to him. Bo Hendry straight points. into his face and lets him know all about that one as the scoreboard reads 12 10 82 to Sorrento's 10 11 71. What do you reckon he said, Lock? Oh, that was a shame. Go and get You know what? Palmer Seven chips. minutes and three quarters gone on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard as it's brought back in by the Pythons. Scanlon bullies his way through a couple short into the middle of the ground. Strong right. mark by Hendry. Hendry looking to move the ball quickly. Looks out wide. He's got Jacobson on a spread. So does Lewis. So goes short. Finds Lewis. Goes with another short one now oh, for Marshall. Wasn't that. a great kick over his head. Will go out of bounds and out of play. Interesting. Um, it's been a free kick yeah, pace. Yep, yeah, so... Grant just coming in for a bit of remonstration after it went out of bounds and out of play and Marshall just clipped him around the jaw so to get the free kick with Jack Grant. So Jack Grant will go to a three on one. Corp's got to beat a couple. Good fist comes from Hendry. That's Bo Hendry. Spills down towards Wilcox who's wrapped up nice and quick. Interesting George that they started with Marshall on the bench in the last quarter. You said I think he'd had 20 odd touches at two or three quarters on. Yeah, 23 bossy. He's back on the ground now but they did start him there so maybe just looking for a bit of pace injection. There's a free kick. Wilcox. Looks to move it up quickly towards half forward. Was chopped off well there by Jack Grant. You're looking for an injection, aren't you, Michael Boss? An injection of uh, a nice cold uh, Mornington Peninsula Brewery. At the Only moment. the finest. So Dabrowski with it now. Out the far side of the ground. It's going to go long up towards half forward. Pines numbers everywhere. In flies Tapscock. Good fist comes from Boswell. He's claiming the mark and the umpire's paid it. <laughs> I think he might have talked him into Tapscott it. Tapscott looking at both of his hands and saying, yep, I had two hands on that, so I don't know how Boswell's <laughs> been paid. But anyway, it's a free. Well, it's not a free. It's a mark to Boswell. Going to go up towards half forward now. Edwards flies from the back. Can't get it down to ground. Jack Grant now. He comes through. So does Barfoot. Drops a footy. Spills out towards Scanlon. Who's whacks it on the boot forward. Ludwig in best position against Grant. Good fist from Grant. Goes up towards half back. Good fist then from Barfoot to get it back into play. Everyone's That's just volleyball at the moment. <laughs> Barfoot to Grant. Grant to Barfoot. Goes out towards half back now. Taps got out to meet it with Scanlon. Happy to both see it out of bounds and out of play. So the ball to be thrown back into play. It's Pines by 11 points in the grand final. We are about 10 minutes or so into the last quarter in the grand final. Pines going to the scoring end to get the ball over the top there by Wilcox it was. It was a hand pass in the ball. Perry Lewis-Smith just overran the ball. We've just crossed 10 minutes by the way. Zach Burns has got it. Centre of the ground goes towards half forward. Going oh, one hand and guy Hendry. Guy Hendry took the mark. He caught one over the, over the back of the head earlier, but he's, uh, he's up and about at the moment. Could be 15 or so minutes away from celebrating a premiership. It's still work to do. Shock Oswald kick. goes out with a shocking kick out towards half uh, the centre wing, and the mark has been taken by Big Williams, who's got it. Haven't called his name much today, that's for sure. As Williams with the ball, defensive side of the Brian Mace grandstand wing. He goes towards half forward. Two Sorrento players in front, one of which takes the mark. They need the next goal. They need it, the mark here at the top of the goal spread at Paholke. Who's got it? Who's got it? Five out directly in front, Lee Paholke. This to bring the margin back to five points. Great strong mark there from Lee Paholke. He knew he needed to stand up on that occasion. It's exactly what he did. Stuck the two Dukes out. Too strong for Jack Fisher on that occasion, who's been too strong for Dawes most of the day. So, well done, Lee Paholke. Opportunity to get his side back within five points. He'll kick from about 20 metres, 25 degree angle. It'll take a good one for Lee. Normally a beautiful kick of the footy. I reckon he'll get up and about if he kicks this Lee as he sets the ball sail, kicks it, and the big fist goes up in the air. He's back within five points, the Sharks. 12, 10, 82, plays 11, 11, 77. 11 and a half gone on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. And you're listening to RWPFM, the voice of Peninsula footballers as a streaker, just strolling oh. through the middle of the ground. <laughs> Zoom in, Lucky Phil. Zoom in, there's a streaker. Here come the security guards. This is going to be fun. Oh, let's not commentate the footy. Let's watch this one-on-one -on -one battle. Oh, he's up! He's up! 
Oh, he's in front. He's going to be with the fence. And it's Winks. Winks and hits the 200 metre mark. Don't he's flying home. It's a metre to go. He jumps a fence. He runs around oh, another. He's, <laughs> he's just toying this with the greatest thing ever. ever. He is just toying with the security now. Oh, they're up. <laughs> they're trying to get him. They can't get him. Oh, he's oh, coming. He's, he's gone. Oh, Security guard just said, see you later. You made an absolute mockery of us. I'm going to get you, and he got him. Oh, he boy. just pole drived him straight into the ground. That's the best commentating we've done all year. <laughs> As the security guard takes his vest off, going to cover him up. Well, he. Just a bit of a slight delay here, ladies and gentlemen. We've just had a man. With no nuts, <laughs> jump on the footy, <laughs> oval. <laughs> he had big nuts to do that. He's he's got... See you later, he says. Oh, yeah, he loves it. <laughs> he's pretty happy with himself too, the big fella. That's always entertaining. So he's escorted, let's get back to footy ladies and gentlemen. Williams and Hendry in the middle of the ground, it's five points of difference. Mitch Allahan wins it, well tackled. Perry Lewis Smith now, gets his handball taken by Lewis, uh, by Will Tucker. Who goes with a quick one up to Gardner, it's an half forward. Handball to James Allahan was too hot. He goes now towards Dawes, it gets well wrapped up by Marshall. Spills out towards Parker, Parker goes for one, gets his kick smothered. Back into the middle of the ground, Tucker now, tries to shrug one off Taz. Handball to Gardner was, was, wasn't great, chopped off by Parker, but Allahan just extracted the footy somehow. Quick kick forward up towards Tapscott. Hughes does the body work. Somehow Tapscott gets it. Handball to Gardner was good. Runs inside. Freddy kicks it. The Sharks are up by a point. 12 11 83 plays 12 10 82. The Sharks have gone bang. This is just unbelievable football. You wouldn't read about it. Two teams, two stalwarts, just going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, goal for goal. 14 and a half gone on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. We've got a point the difference in the grand final. What's it's the a shark by a point. What was the biggest highlight in the last five minutes, Lockwood? That goal or the streaker? That goal. <laughs> Get your head in the football, Michael Ross. I know you're excited <laughs> by that streaker. Hendry now wins that racked up out, stolen by James Allahan. He gets tackled, drops it. Perry Lewis Smith now shrugs off to Brolsky, runs up towards our forward Barfoot and Edwards in a one on one. Spills the ground, Bongetti in a foot race with Brigden. Brigden's well tackled, spills out towards Jacobson. He's on the wrong side. He's going to go with the left foot to the top of the goal square, but it's downfield. He's been smashed by Grant downfield. And it's going to be a free kick and it'll go to Aaron Edwards at the top of the goal Don't square. Don't let it off. They, they've got the free kick. They should walk away here, Pines. They should yeah. walk away. Harley. So Sean White runs into an open goal and gets the lead right back. As the crowd is that big, they've got to start climbing the nets behind those goals. They're backed up by five points now, the Pythons. Boy, oh boy, do we have a ball game. Five points the difference here on our double PFM, the voice of Peninsula Football. is five points in the grand final we're 16 minutes into the last quarter it is pines up by five points 88 to 83 as we've got a new ball out on the ground because that ball has absolutely been kicked the streakers the knows where by streakers, Sean White. streakers just pitched it and going off with it so if you're not going to let me run around the football oval i'm at least going to take a footy he had quite a stride on him too didn't he yeah, he had the security guards measure until uh, the big fella came ball out in the middle right by the umpire Hendry and Williams in the ruck one more time. Williams taps it down. Comes only to Perry Lewis Smith. Next goal would be huge if, you, if Pines can get it. The ball is taken by Mitch Hallahan. He was tackled. A quick kick forward. One of the downfield free kick. It's a two on two contest at the top of the goal square. The ball knocked away by the Sereno defence. Out towards the 50. It's taken by McDermott. Goes in short to Edwards. He misses the mark. 
the ball goes over the line and the danger is averted just. Oh, you can just feel the desperation in every kick, every handball, every possession. It's just brilliant, isn't it, Michael? The best thing about the Pythons all final series has been the fact they've been able to answer. Things look like they're down in the dumps, but they just keep coming back as Williams wins that tap out. Down towards Brigden, quick kick out of defence. Was pretty good, gets some distance. Corp in a one-on-one -on -one with Hendry. That's Guy. Guy wins it to Potts. Now back to Bo. He's smashed by Tapscott. Umpire said play on. And the ball will stay there on half back for the Sharks. I like it. Lock that should have been paid in the back then, but the umpire just letting it go. Putting the whistle Let the in the pocket. On its last Absolutely. quarter of the grand final as Hendry wins that one only as far as Mitch Ellahan ducked his head. He's gone. Oh, yeah. Holding the ball every day of the week. Free kick, Perry Lewis Smith. You can't duck your head into a tackle, Mitchell Ellahan, without getting pinned holding the ball. That can't was your prior, it. ducking your head. Get rid of it instead as Perry Lewis Smith's going to go long and strong towards Edwards and Bongetti. Edwards flies from the side, so does Williams. It's holding the man, oh. the umpires pick the free kick and it's going to go to Sorrento. Play on advantage through Di Pasquale now. Goes up to a leading corp against Hendry, that's Guy. Oh, right. Strong oh. man, Guy Hendry. Umpire oh. set play on. And Pahoki, he's all by himself in the goal square. And the Sharks are back up by a point. 13, 11, 89, plays 13, 10, 88. But I tell you what, that's a cough up for the refs because Guy Hendry just took that mark. Absolutely <laughs> took the mark. I, I've got no idea what happened then. That was a mark every day of the week. And um, oh, I, I, oh, Corp just snatched it from his hands and disposed of the ball. You can't do that. That's a mark. Oh, well, can't be reversed. Sorrento up by point. Pahoki oh, adds his fourth. And they're up by a point. Boy, oh boy, wow, we just a lead change after lead change in this final term of football. Oh boy, oh boy, we're that in could for change. A big that could change the game. That oh geez, I don't like that. He's worked up old short pass ball back in the middle of the ground. Williams v Hendry. Hendry flies, wins it down to Perry Lewis Smith. Handball to Scanlon was good. Just waxes on the boot out towards wing position. Foot race between Grant and Jacobson. Jacobson goes for one off the ground. Dabrowski takes possession of the footy. Looks up towards Sinar. Forward Perry Lewis Smith drifting back. Takes one uncontested. He wants to move it quickly. He's got Lewis out wide on a wing against Langford. Strong mark comes from Lewis. He's quickly to move it on. Looks up towards our forward. Edwards on a big presentation. Goes in that direction. Now Grant comes in from the side, gets the spoil in, spills the ground, Bongetti dives on it, trying to push it back towards Edwards. Good desperation by Brigden, just a dive on the footy. And he's going to get picked here, holding the ball. Yeah, dragged it back in, Lock. He did, so free kick Aaron Edwards, who's at the top of the goal square, it's McDermott and Parker. He goes in the direction now, Parker's by himself, he flies! Oh, that was high! Back into ground! Potter gets possession of the footy, just handballs it out towards the boundary line, and that's where it goes. Seven minutes to go, boys. Parker flew high. Whoa, that was high. <laughs> Parker climbed about two blokes then. So 25 out from the Pythons goal. Ball back into play, Bongetti up against Williams. Williams wins it down towards Langford. Didn't want to take possession of the footy, so Potts did. Hallahan cleans him up. That's James. And the umpire will come in and throw the ball up right on that 50 metre line for the Pythons. Desperation footy, keep saying it because it bloody is. Not long to go. 50 metres, six and a half minutes to go, short pass. Five, 50 metres out from the Pines goal. Ball comes over the top, Edwards. Can he get to this one? He, he just sticks a hand in there, he tries to. And the ball goes out towards the line and goes. Now it's going to be a ball up ball in the forward pocket. We're 21 minutes into the last quarter, in the time on of the grand final for 2018. 13 11 89 Sorrento, 13 10 88 Pines. What a game of football this has been. And there's still plenty left. Scanlon, a high kick towards full forward. It's tied up. Six minutes to go. We'll have extra time in case uh, they're uh, nipples. So uh, six minutes to go, and the scores are level in the grand final. This has been unbelievable. This uh. has been so, so good this afternoon. The crowd have enjoyed it. We had such a letdown of a grand final last year between YCW and Bomb Beach. And what a game of football this has been today. As the kick comes out towards half back, ball is picked up. A high kick towards centre half forward. John's got to go. They all go. Ludwig, it's smothered off his boot. The ball's still inside the attack of 50. That's holding the ball almost against uh, the Sorrento side there. The umpire says, I'm going to ball it up. 45 metres out from the pine. Oh, it's been a free. 
I'm going to give a free kick instead. It's going to go to Sarito. The crowd don't like that. About five and a half minutes to go. Scores are level in the grand final and we will have extra time and there is a strong chance of it lock at this stage. There is. It's a draw. But he's 89 apiece here at Frankston Park as Grant. That's Gomo. Daniel Grant, the Silver Fox, goes out wide, finds Langford. So Langford now with possession of the footy at half back. He's going to go backwards again now to Grant. So Pines have structured themselves up well and they're going to try and get a switch here, the Sharks. They go to Brigden. Brigden backs his pace against Bongetti. Was strong there. Runs towards an half back. Kicks out wide towards the Brolsky in a one on one. Good body work, but Kyle Jacobson was first on it. Looks up. He's got McDermott in a foot race against Harris. Harris! Oh! Couldn't geez. take the mark. That was massive. Potter. He gets possession of the footy. Goes up towards Grant. Happy to see the ball out of bounds and out of play. Jeez, did Small, Harris fly? Smallest player on the ground, Kyle Jacobs. But by God, he showed a little bit today. He has. He's very quick forward. Pressure man as the ball's brought back into play. Williams v. Johns. John straight down to Scanlon. Just waxing on the bird. It's going to go out of bounds and out the full. So that was a wasted possession there by Scanlon. Mitch Allen wants to bring the ball back in quick, goes into the middle of the ground. Great work, Barfoot just didn't take his eyes off the footy. Langford now, handball back to Potter. You worry when he's got possession of the footy, he gets a bit nervous. Good possession there out to Grant though, now to Marston. They're starting to push forward quickly, a lot of players out this side of the ground. Wrong side of the ground, Serena need to push back, they look like they're tired legs. Goes in short to Daniel Grant, who's going to go long and strong. Corp's got to beat a couple, strong mark, Ben Thomas. I can't do it again, Corp. Very strong mark taken there by Ben Thomas. So oh, Ben Thomas with possession of the footy. Looks out towards the far side of the ground. Goes up to the water wing position. Barfoot straight through his mitts. Spills out the back now towards Zach Grant. Bit of fumbles. Takes it out of bounds and out of play. Right, so the ball to be thrown back into play. We've got about four minutes to go in the grand final. And the scores are level. 13, 11, 89 each of two. Williams and John in the ruck contest. The ball comes out Sorrento's way. It's taken by Bo Hendry. He gets a hand pass over towards Scanlon. What can Chewy do? He goes towards half forward. Going back and not taking the mark there on that occasion was Chad Harris. Picking the ball up there was Lewis. Sorrento not holding the ball, the umpire said no. Oh, wow. So the ball at half forward here for Pines. A point might just about do it for either side, you'd think. Here's an opportunity. Still plenty of time, though. A hand pass, looking for a teammate, statement by Marston, a hand pass to Hallahan, they're out here, Sorrento, Tap Scott, a hand pass, Harris, back to Tap Scott, a long kick by the coach of Sorrento, Tap Scott towards oh. forward, they jump, they couldn't take the mark. I'll tell you what, I'll around. tell you what! Oh. It's been rushed through. What is it? It's a goal. It's no, goal. it's a goal. That is a goal. Oh. What? We're up by a goal, Sorrento. It's been him across the line. Boswell looks like he's taken that halfway through the goal score. That's a good Jeez, goal. Your, your niece is under the pump there, she's Michael Boss. <laughs> oh, she's boy. And you know what? She, she'll have a fight. So she's talking oh. about it's a goal. <laughs> Who <laughs> kicked that boy? Yeah. That was Marcus Gardner. Oh, a wow. lovely little dribbler taken by Marcus Gardner. The Sharks are up by a goal. 14-11-95 plays 13 11 89 A goal, the difference. Won by Boswell. Kick off the ground towards Marshall was good. Fist Harris. Great fist, Chad Harris. He's been good this last half. As Marshall can't win possession of footy. Williams to Hallahan. Now to Chad Harris. Looks up towards our forward. Goes up towards Burns. Peels over the back to Guy Hendry. He takes possession of the footy. Goes towards Thomas, who goes back now towards Hughes. He's got one out wide in Parker if he wants him. He goes in now. He's got to keep it in. He can't keep it in. That race is out of bounds and out of play. We've got two and a half minutes to play in the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Oh. It's a goal of difference. It's in between wing and half forward. Four. The Sharks, Gladman, he takes possession of the footy quickly wrapped up there. We just saw the replay of that one, and I reckon that that was taken in front of the line. I reckon that's a behind. <laughs> From my point of view, looking at that footage, that is a behind. The ball brought back up now. Williams wins that one down towards Potts. Potts steals it. He looks up towards in the middle of the ground. Boswell flying back against Gardner. Takes a strong mark. He needs to go. He's well held up there by Gardner. But the umpire said you held on to him too long. Wow so that's 50 way. metres. And oh. Nick Boswell is a thumping <laughs> kick. And this will take him within range. Oh. So Boswell, the umpire still running down towards 45. The man on the mark will be standing 45 metres out. Oh, Two minutes to go. Wow. Two minutes to play. Boswell. 
Hill will have a shot from about 50 metres out. This is a big, big, big kick for the big man in Nick Boswell. Oh, if he can go back and kick this, the score's a level with a couple of minutes to play. This oh. is huge for Nick Boswell. Normally a prolific user of the football. Needs to have his best on this occasion. 50 out directly in front. Sets the ball sail. It looks pretty good. Oh. It is good. It's straight through the hay now, did it? And the Pythons are even. 14, 11, 95 a piece here at Frankston Park. Boy, oh boy, wow, we, we have a ball game. Oh, yeah, a just... minute and a half to play. Yeah, just... What the Bendigo Bank scoreboard at Boswell says, thank you very much. You couldn't ride it any better, could you, Michael Boss? He ate the pressure up, he said, spat it out, and he said, I just eat that for breakfast You could every day. not script this any better. You could not script this any better. The cameras are on the Pines ground. The ball is back in the middle of the ground. It's Bo Hendry v Ryan Williams. Williams wins it. Straight down to Hendry. Quick kick out of the ground. Goes inside 50. Spills down towards Edwards. Marsden picks up the ball. Oh, right. Edwards smashes him, and that's where the ball will stay. Great tackle, Aaron Edwards. He wants to play on. The ball 45 out straight in front Minute. of the Pythons goal. They're, Minute 40. In, they're within range here. The ball's thrown up on Giddy V. Williams. Oh, free kick given to Ryan Williams. So Ryan Williams with the free kick at halfback. He needs to move quick. We've got a minute and 20 left to play. He looks in short. Michelahan there. Michelahan at centre halfback. So Alain just looking to slow things down. Don't know why there's a minute left to play. It's a draw. Goes out towards the wing. Tompkins has got to fly. He does. Tompkins with a strong mark on the wing position. He's looking up towards Baholke. He wants it one out. That's where he goes. He's got to beat a couple now Does Baholke. Up goes Thomas. Good fist. Feels down on Boswell. Quick kick up towards the wing was smothered. Inside 50. Foot race between Bo Henry. He wins. He's got a kick. He does. Kicks it up towards the wing position. Lewis Smith finds him for the side. He's still got time. Kicks it long up towards Wilcox. Spills the ground. Daniel Grant first on it. He's in a foot race now with Wilcox. He runs away from Wilcox. He gives a handball over the top to Harris. It goes back for him. Was it great? Somehow gets it. Gets position of footy on the wing position. Goes up towards our forward. Big fist comes from Brandon Lewis. Goes out of bounds and out of play. 30 seconds. Oh, seconds. Oh, it's going to be a draw. Forward. This could be a draw. It's an half forward for the Sharks. Ball brought back into play. Williams v Hendry. Williams wins it down to Perry Lewis Smith. He just whacks it on the boot. Out into space. Foot race. Jacobson v Langford. Jacobson winning it. Goes to the kick up the ground. Couldn't get it. Boswell picks it up. Tries to sell Keane. He does. Gives a handball off to Marshall. Look at this. From 45 shots to Luna Wick. Luna Wick's taking the mark. He's taking the mark. 30 out at a 25 degree angle. How long is left? And there's the full time siren. Ludewig has the opportunity to win the game for the Pythons. Aaron Ludewig has a shot on goal from 35 out, 25 degree angle. It's a score, it's 95 apiece. Any score will win this game of football. Go through your process, son. Go through your process. Aaron Ludewig walks in now. He'll kick from 40. He kicks. It's a point. But it doesn't matter because the point that's won the grand final. Aaron Ludewig kicked the behind to win the grand final. Oh, look at the crowd. It is massive. It is massive. It's fat like Pythons. The Pythons. Have won the grand final after the siren. One point. 2018 <laughs> Division One grand final goes to the Pythons. 14, 12, 96. Play 14, 11, 95. We played 30 minutes and 10 seconds in that final term of football. And the Pythons with a shot after the siren. Aaron Ludewig takes a minor score, but it didn't matter. Any score won them the game of football, and they've done it. The Pythons have broken the drought, Michael Moss. 24 years in the making, and they've done it for Cowboy Boys. They've done it for Steve Nichols. He's down, he's ill. We know he's ill. We know what he's got. But tell you what, they showed courage for him today, and they won it for Cowboy there, short pass. Oh, look, this is just unbelievable as the 
Pythons fans spill over the fence in their thousands, and I can actually say thousands because they're running. There is a pack of them out in the middle of the field. Unbelievable scenes here. A kick after the siren to just register a score. One point, Pines, 2018 Premiership. Harley Parker was looking up at us when Ludwig had that ball. He looked up and said, well, how long is it to go? And I just, I said to him, last kick. And, uh, and then the siren went and they realised all he had to do was kick a point. Unbelievable. And that's what he did. Any score won in the game and Aaron Ludwig kicked it. Hey, buddy. Yeah. 
2018 MPFL Chisholm Division 1 Premiership Medallions to the Pines Football Club. Yeah.
Stephen Jackson down the 19. to run the one out midfield and reserves. Coach, Simon Bishop forwards, Ben Corey, back line. Dean Langley, you know, my mentor. Back, uh, my man, Barry Swain, does the opposition. So it's all our assistant coaches, a big round of applause for us. Players who, who missed through injury, to our past players, we've had a, it's been 24 years since our last premiership, we've had a lot of players go through and get close, really, you know, dig in and keep the footy club going, so to all our past players, we love you and we really value your contribution to the club, so thanks to our past players, um, to all our families, our families are, uh, you know, we put up with a lot. We started in November and we're still going out in September. So to all our families, um, those of us with kids, thank you to those guys because we don't go through lots. So thank you very much to the kids. Um, and our footy operations, our committee, Doc Watson and Jeff Spagos, Kim Jackson, who sort of lead, lead that committee. Cash board, that was absolutely super. So great work to our committee and supporters. To our sponsors, we've got some major sponsors, obviously. Don't you that's on the back of the uh, Aaron Ash with his great work and you know Kenny Rust by Carol River all our sponsors so big big thank you to our sponsors. Most of all though to our supporters.